We made it. Another 420. We're here. We're high on Pub Sports Radio. It's me and my guy, Mikey Money, on this 420. What's going on, Mike? What up? What up? Just uh, finalizing some things. And what a great day of sports we got, Daddy. I'm excited, man. We got uh, we got 420. We got the Pub Sports playoff pools about to start for the NHL. The NBA is literally popping off here any second. Now, I got a same game parlay for that son of a bitch, too. How about that? Let me toss it out there right quick here before we even get into the formalities because this thing is starting. The first half under for me, I'm riding this NBA Cavs game. First half under is 106. Uh, locked and loaded there. We're 5-1 and one to the unders in the first half in the NBA playoffs. I got a little same game parlay action as well. It pays out 8-1. to one. And uh, I'll lay it down for you guys right quick here because, again, we're popping off any minute now. It's a four-legger. It's the Cavaliers' money line. Donovan Mitchell over four and a half assists. Franz Wagner, 18 plus points. And then that first half under 106 as well. So that's an eight to one. Locked and loaded, baby. Let's go. Get this Beautiful. Anything here. else you got to Marcus? Uh, hopefully he'll be up here real soon. We got it. We didn't, we didn't do the best. We're stoners here and we didn't do the best job of uh, preparation and sending it out. So we need you guys. Like I realized Mike and I sent out our tweet. We're like, Hey, 420. And our guy, dad father was like, what time? And I was like, Oh, in five minutes, I guess that would have been a good thing to let you know. So we need you guys, all the real ones in here. Silent Rob, real deal. Marcus, my guy, tone Miggins right there. Levels play of the day. Juan Chavez, Perky Sanders, do us a favor. Nasty Nate up there. He said smoking on the, what does that say? Gastro pop. Never heard of that. Go out there and retweet this for us. Get it out there. Tell everybody we're live. Um, do you have anything else to squeeze out in the basketball before we before we move on, though? I think it's fucking nighty night time for the Orlando Magic. Everybody likes these Magic. And uh, I'll tell you what, the Cavs, man, they just all season long going back to December, they just find a way, despite their current situations, uh, to find a way to W. So, uh, look, I'm rolling with them. That's uh, That's the extent of what I got for you guys. There is Major League Baseball we'll talk about in a minute here. I'm just trying to get my uh, I'm just trying to get my finalized lineup here for uh, uh, this pub sports contest here for the uh, for the NHL. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to kick somebody's ass. I don't care. We're here to smoke weed, drink cocktails, and kick ass. Unfortunately, we're full of all of them. Let's go. Can people still sign up, or are they too late? Yeah, yeah. The sign up starts. It's up. Uh, uh, what 5 p.m. So 5 p.m. is the first puck drop for the NHL. We got four hours, just under four hours for it. In fact. Don't we have a little? Uh, don't we have a little clip for it? Is what I'm wondering. Now. I'm Let's looking the, for uh, it and I can't find it. But I'll, I'll make it simple for you guys. Go to PubSportsRadio.com, uh, click uh, on the NHL pool right there, and you just sign in, sign up. Uh, you pick 20 players, and I don't even know NHL. You pick 20 players, you get points for certain. What it, if they score a goal, you get a point? Isn't it like that? Like that or something, Mike? Yeah, yeah, basically. Um, Point-driven pool out here. We've got, uh, what, just about 30 or so entered at this point. Winner, uh, we're getting, what do we got here? Point for each player's goal, a point for each player's assist. Just basic standard NHL rules. They produce, you get points. The more points you get, the uh, more chances you have to win out there. Pretty straightforward. No caps. Everybody rolls. Top 10% of the pool are getting paid. And uh, it's going to be exciting. It's the first time. The more uh, more people we get to enter these things, you guys know the deal, the more we'll do that. So uh, get in there. This will be my first one. I'm going to enter uh, via the Pub Sports crew here. Uh, but I warn you, I've been red fucking hot in the NHL, Daddy. You do not want to fuck with this Yeah, it's been here. a good season, man. Speaking but of red hot, now that we got the – now that we, we, we skipped the formalities uh, and got straight to the same game parlay in the action so you guys had time to get in with us, Let's go back to those formalities. Happy 420, everybody. Yeah, happy 420. We're here. I got a shit. What did I put in this one? Uh, I think I got the I think I got the blue sherbet in this plane, but I got like five strains here. It's 420, so of course I loaded up. I want to know what you guys are burning on. Drop it in the chat. Let me know if you're smoking with us. Uh, I brought some Casamigos too. I'm not a big drinker. I haven't even had a drink since San Antonio, Mike. How many weeks ago was that? Fuck. Feels like ages ago at this point. <laughs> so when I say I'm not a big drinker, that's how that's that's how serious I am about it. I'm not a big drinker. Haven't had a had a, haven't had a drink since Pablo Palooza three. But here on 420, I think it's a perfect uh, time. I like a little tequila uh, with my good weed. So this is for you guys in the chat. You Mike up there. You got anything you sipping on, Mike? Fucking ain't right. We're locked and loaded, baby. It's game day. We're cocktailing here. We got vodka, vodka, Red Bull. Let's go. <laughs> 
beautiful, man. <laughs> Cheers to you. Cheers, Cheers to everybody in the chat, Happy man. Happy 420 out there. Cheers to everybody. Salute, man. Let's go. Boom. I would take a hit and then a drink, but I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna take my drink and then I'll smoke my joint. Let's go. Let's get some cash today. I'm ready for it. My attitude's right, and that's all that matters about kicking ass and taking names. So, let's go. Oh, it's 420. Holy shit! Shout out go. to Rod Zawacki. Fucking blew my mind this morning. Who knew? It's palindrome. You know what a palindrome is, Daddy Cab? Say it one more time. What a palindrome is? Something that's the same backwards as it is forwards, my guy. It's like the name Bob. Bob is the same backwards as it is forward. So is 420, 2024. Go write it down on a piece of paper and then flip that paper over and fucking have your mind blown. That's That blew my mind this morning when I was like, holy shit, here we go. It's got to be a lucky day. It's 420. It's spelled the same backwards and forwards. Let's fucking go. Let's have ourselves a show, man. Let's do it. Is a... Like race car. So I got you now. Like race car. Like yeah, 420, 2024 is 420, 2024 backwards. That's too there much for go. us stoners here. Uh, but we got over 50 <laughs> people already now popping in here. So I guess people are starting to figure out we're here. Uh, cheers to you guys that already hit the like and the share button. Go ahead and do it again. Let's get over 100 people in here. Um, the more people we have in here, the longer we're going to stay up here and smoke with you guys. I got like, I got like four ounces sitting beside me. So I can go all day as far as the weed goes. But, uh, it's just up to you guys. So run it up there. Let me see here. I saw Jay Stoner Mark Super Boof. Man, that Super Boof is good, bro. I've had it, but what a fucking name. Boof used to be like something you don't want to smoke. Like Boof was no good. And now the Super Boof is like a pretty good strain. It's just weird. It's like if I called like something like popcorn, like if I named my new strain popcorn, like people be like, why the fuck are you calling it popcorn? Yeah, you gotta gotta pick the naming better. You never know what's gonna take, and you don't want to have your stuff called "smells like dog shit," and then all of a sudden it's the best strain in the world. Now everyone's gotta say it smells like dog shit. It's not gonna work. Bro, I think dog shit is a strain. I think dog shit is. Is it a really? Strain. Something. Like I always see. I think so. People, people with the cat piss. I'm like, man, what? A, who fucking named that thing? I mean, that's it's terrible. Anybody that's had a cat knows you don't want to be. You know, we breathing that in. Shout out to our guy, Marcus McCarthy. He says, shout out to all the people being born right now on this day, LOL. So it's funny, Marcus McCarthy. Uh, one of my best friends is born on April 21st. I don't even text a motherfucker happy. For 20 years, I haven't texted him happy birthday. I just say, you fucked up. Every single year. <laughs> He's born on April 21st. <laughs> Bro. So uh, he, he gets it twice. Anybody even know why 420 is like celebrated for the stone? I don't. I haven't looked that history up. I do know uh, yeah. like history, history, look- like 420 is Hitler's birthday. So there's that. That's no good. If you look at the letters of the alphabet, right? D and T. This so uh-huh. happens to be 420 is drug time and 420 is April 20th. So it works out 420, 420 on 420. Now you're a real stoner if you get up at 420 a.m. to smoke on 420 a.m. And then smoke again. I don't understand a word that you just said, Mike. What do you mean? Can you, you, say don't, you don't look at the look at the letters of the alphabet. A, B, C, D is the fourth letter. What's the twentieth okay. letter? Okay. What's the twentieth? T, right? Okay. So D T. What am I doing here? Dr- drug time. Are you you dude? What a stretch! Did you make that up? No, I swear to God. <laughs> really? Is that where it came from? That's where 420 on the clock came from. When you see that 420 and everyone says fire up, it's 420. It's drug time. 420, man. What? Okay. You learn something new every day. Hey, Mike, can you see backstage? Because I got excited as fuck when I saw him pop back here. This is one of my favorite people. Yeah, one of my favorite people. Are we going to go to strikeout? Do we get a strikeout this beautiful 420 afternoon? That's the question we all want to know. But we'll see. We'll put him in the Oh, shit. I think he's a grown, mature... uh, sports investor now i don't think he does strikeouts i think he's matured past that uh but without further ado man this is one of my favorite people um i wish we had him up here more often especially during baseball season because he absolutely knows his shit uh moose money bets moose what up my dude what's going on moose loves betting moose loves everybody out there in the chat what's going on cabby what's going on man what up my crew right here mike and moose man I don't know if you guys remember, but this takes me back to when, really, when I first started doing this with college football. It was, you guys would be up here with me. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, wh- how long ago was that? Like, uh, feels like feels like it was last year, but it was probably more like three. 
Bro, I don't know. That's so that's scary. Kind of, that's kind of feel like it? that moves. Yeah, I think it was three years ago because uh, it wasn't last year. I think it may have been the year before that. Too long is the main point of that message. Too, too long. fucking long. Too long. Too long, man. Well, Moose, uh, what's going on, man? How you been? How's uh, how's gambling been going for you? How's life been going? It's good to see you back up here. That fucking bat background is sick, man. Yeah, I've been, uh, well, you know, getting a, a full time job is going to help you uh, expand on your sports room. So my <laughs> sports office here has really uh, been kicked up a notch. Uh, I got my little mini bat rack over here. Uh, I got I'm not sure if you guys can see I got my mooses, all my mooses back there. So there they are. yeah, she's been good, man. She's been good. Uh, a lot of learning over the last couple of years is like a better because I had a nice little uh awful stretch i guess is the best way to put it uh, nice just, little awful stretch huh? yeah nice little awful stretch of about a year and a half of like having a good first week or a good first day and then shit just so learning learning and uh i feel like i'm doing a little bit better now but uh the main thing is how's everybody out there doing that's the thing i want to know you know uh College basketball is my favorite thing, but that's over, and I'm I'm not big on NBA. I've got some props for the later game that we're going to talk about, but baseball is – fuck, it's frustrated me this past few days. Um, I had a great season last year in MLB, but, you know, I'm down a couple units. I got I, I to gotta have a big day today. I just put on this uh, Yankees-Rays game. Looks like Yankees got two on with two outs, uh, bottom of the first inning. Hey, oh. I, I need a good day here. I need to get back in the green because okay. – go ahead. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. I started. I didn't want to interrupt you there, but uh, you talk about you learning did. and kind of Go ahead, Mike. trials. And tri yeah, well, I'll just fucking. I'll just jump in here and <laughs> speak now. You guys have said enough. I'll take care. I'll take over from here. I uh, <laughs> I started off the fucking baseball season, boys. Oh and eleven. What a fucking start! I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me right now?" Horrible, horrible. Fortunately for me, I didn't know that until I was twenty six and twenty six. Otherwise, I probably would have fucking stopped betting baseball. How did you not know How that? that? How did you yeah. not know you went 0-11? Because uh, of just betting everything else, you know, betting hockey, betting basketball, betting college That's hoops, like much. getting into it like that. It was just too much too much action. I mean, I knew I was losing. I just didn't know the magnitude of which I was losing until uh, – I mean, look, it's a happy story at the end because we're up uh, almost double-digit units now. So, uh, you know, you can start bad, but that's the thing about baseball. Got to get in there. You got to swing for those plus money spots. And you always, Moose, always have to pay attention to who's putting sprinkles on their Sundays. You know that's important this year. Well, if we're going to be on the baseball topic here, Moose, do you have any action today that you have bet that you would like to talk about? Uh, I mean, I don't need to talk about it too much. Uh, you know, you just you guys did the uh, Jose show, uh, Say Hey. Uh, but I am on the Yankees, uh, first five, so I, I like that little update. Uh, I think Cortez at home versus Eflin on the road is kind of the, that's kind of the bet, you know, just kind of broken down. Uh, I'm on Diamondbacks first five, uh, Red Sox Pirates first five under four, a uh, little sprinkle on the Nationals money line, Phillies team total over, Angels Reds over, and Blue Jays money line and a Barrios K prop over. Uh, those, so that's my action for today. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I was just going to tell you, I, did, I wanted to wait for you to finish. There was a ground ball. Uh, with two outs there, uh, mm. Verdugo grounded out to the first baseman. He hit it hard, though, 3-1 count, but they're out of the inning, so 0-0 zero, zero going on the top of the second. Sugar yeah, money, still so low and 11. Who is Teddy Covers? Fuck yeah, I man. just dropped my phone, and it took Moose off the screen. Sorry. Drop the phone, drop the Moose. All right. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Yo, uh, Mike, I gave you a shout-out today. I got a, I got a hip-to-be-square play, and I even called it yeah? hip-to-be-square. Yeah, yeah. I put the Astros and the Cleveland Guardians both together on the money line for plus 148. And I was like, you know what? I, that, it is good, bro. And I, I was yeah. like, this is the hip to be square play. I, I did it for yeah, you. Man. So for anybody that doesn't know, uh, Mike does a, did or does a hip to be square play. Uh, and I brought it to you guys today. So we're doing the Astros and the Cleveland Guardians money line plus 148. I'll, I'll tell you, I, uh, I rolled that shit last year. Baseball is a grind. Posting shit every single day. I think I had like one day I took off. It's a it's a grind in baseball, and uh, it's a lot of pain in the ass to do it on the daily. But hey, we got a guest backstage ready to rock. It's our guy from the land. He's here to talk. Looks like he's got the game day buy sign engaged here. It's a big day for him. The game is rolling. 
He's in a pleasant position already. It's early. Let's bring on our guy. It's Nizzle, baby. It's what up, my what guy? Up? What's we up? We appreciate homies? you rocking with us today. Yeah. Hell yeah. What up, Cav? What up, Mike? What up, Moose? Yo, yo, yo. Everybody in the chat. Hope everyone's having a good start to their day. Yo. Obviously, it's 420, so let's get it popping. Hell yeah, man. Let, let me get mine lit up with you. I was about to say, look at his background, too, man. You get you you and Moose got a fucking dope background. Both of you guys, man. Coming in here looking fly, man. Oh, yeah. It's just my room. <laughs> well, yeah, it's got to be in a room. I mean, it wouldn't be your cave, right? <laughs> No. Uh, oh, no, 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 no! I wanted to let Mike. I wanted to let Mike do it because he never gets to. Should we redo that? I thought I was going to keep this motherfucker on ice, but he just let himself right on in. <laughs> Are you going to put me on ice? This my goddamn guy? motherfucking shit! Hmm? God damn! Dutch well, NBA well, baby, we got the, we got Ick here rocking the land gear. Uh, what do you think about this first game, Cleveland Orlando Magic, my guy? Are you invested? Yeah, man, I'm on the Cavaliers full game. I like it. Hey, how about you? Did you bet it? Um, no, I did not take the Cavs full game. I am looking to probably get a live under at some point. Um, but I the one play I did take was Jared Al Allen uh to be the top rebounder at plus one thirty. <laughs> God damn. Hell yeah. You said plus one thirty, Jared Allen top rebounder. Yep. Nice. Is that the only thing that you bet pregame on it? Yes, sir. Hell yeah. You must really like that too, then. I like it. Yo, I heard Dutch cough when you just hit into that. I almost died right when Mike in, and I entered it because I got the diamonds in this. That, you know, it's 420, so I went a little extravagant. I put those oh. diamonds in it. But I took that first hit, and I thought I was about to pass out, man. Yeah. It looks like we is... got a full crew in. What are you uh, What are you chiefing on, Dutch? Yeah, this is no joke right here. I got the... um. The wedding pie, which I'm a big fan of, it's, it's done right, too. It's a beautiful thing. But the reason why it's got me choky is I got a gram, a full gram. I just put out, I'm going to tweet it out as far as I roll it. I got a full gram of fucking Donnie Burger on here, testing out about 80%. It's loaded. It's a Did you do it in the middle to make the hash hole, or did you just put it on there? I did it in the middle, kind of like, you know, tucked it Mine in. Mine never like, makes the hash hole, bro. I don't know why. Mine didn't either, because it's like... It's just hard, bro. It's like burner makes it look so easy, but whenever I do it, it seems like it just doesn't look as sexy. But it's burning good, but I don't see the hash hole. What is the hash hole? I might be an ex uh, so it's like where you literally so like in the joint, you just see the fucking like the, the hash, like it's like a hole just burning in the middle. Like it's, it's fucking a perfect. perfect circle in the middle of the joint, like a, oh, so it's not like a hole you poke and then like put the hash in there. No, it's literally like you just see the hash smoking perfectly in a circle. All right. Pretty dope looking, but let's right, go. Well, let's eliminates, go. Yeah, hey, Pat, you want to do it? You, you want to go riding? <laughs> go cue it up, my guy. This is uh, let's go. You know, you're gonna ride on slab, baby. It's only right, it's four bloody. Where I can, I got it. If you guys let's go, let's ride with LJ H House Finest, and he's always bringing flavors to the motherfucking scene. Believe that. LJ, my dude, man. What up, fellas? How we doing this Medicaid month? Oh, it's a Monday. It's uh, Saturday. It's funny. Uh, I'm already high. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking yeah. it's Monday. It's bro, Saturday. you too. Bro, this is joint number five already on the day. I, I'm a little crazy. Hey, I, don't, I don't even know what joint I'm on right now, bro. I've been up since five o'clock this morning, bro. Like, it's yeah, real. Like, bro, real. you know what? We got some of my favorite people on screen with me right now. Some of my favorite people in the chat. Um, I, I said off the top how we I, I should have done a better job putting this together. But I can say one thing. I'm happy that we're here now, man. Cheers to you guys. Yeah. Cheers to everybody yeah. in the chat. Happy 420. This is a fucking yeah, ultimate man. sesh, man. Fucking Let's get some fucking paper sesh, today. Bro. Hey, for real, man. Cheers to me, too. My son with his dad, so I could smoke in my house, bro. Yeah, I man. Smoking, smoking, freely. <laughs> smoking freely. Yeah, man. This this is definitely not set up like we wanted. Honestly, I didn't think we were going to do the motherfucking show. Um, I wanted this to be more of like a actual stash 420 with the live stream we'll get more of a live stream vibe going but hey as long as we make money and vibe out that's all that really matters but yeah we dropped the ball 
We dropped the this ball is, on that. This is a sesh, though. We got we got some good ass people here to smoke with and in the chat, wow. man. We need you guys yeah. to hit the like and share the video. Uh, get it out there. Anybody that's a stoner, uh, you know, if you're if your grandma smokes, you know, obviously your dealer smokes, whoever it is, send it to them. Let them know that we're in here. Tell them to come burn one with us and drop your action in the chat too. Let us know what you guys are betting on. I got a bunch of action in the MLB. Um, I can recap it here in a little bit, but I want to hear LJ's uh, NBA and I want to hear Dutch talk NBA a little bit because, you know, and then I want to hear Mike's NHL. But we, you said we got till five o'clock for the first puck drop, Mike. Yeah, fuck yeah, that shit. We're talking about don't that. Don't put me in that lane, motherfucker. I'm not just a hockey capper. <laughs> you can say that all you want, but you're plus 60 units on the season. I'm interested in what you have to say, God damn it. We got um, oh, we got a 21-15 basketball game in Cleveland. I wanted to take the Cavs first half, didn't get too cute with it, just took them full game here. LJ, you got action on this first one, my guy? Yeah, I got Cavs full game just because yeah. got embarrassed last year. Mm -hmm. and the New York Knicks came in there. So. Remember the Knickerbockers, right? They remember that. Yeah, so I, I, I believe they go. They want to make a statement, bro. Plus, Orlando, Orlando's young. You know, they had a good season, but, you know, this different ball right now. It's playoffs, so. Exactly. Uh, Cavs came in. Cavs came in healthy now. You know, came in a little rough, but I think it's money time now. I think we're going to see the best of the Cavaliers. Surprised Ick's not on a full game. What kept you out the full game, Ick? I just wanted to see see how these boys play, you know. After getting embarrassed the last couple of fuck two seasons, I want to see I want to see what kind of heart they're playing with. I mean, I know they're at home, but honestly, I think there's levels to this shit. I think they're just on another level than than the Magic. Um, I think this is over in five. I think the Magic get one, maybe game three, if not game four, and the Cavaliers gentlemen sweep these boys. Banchero's nice. France is nice. These, these Magic ain't close, though. They're not close. In my opinion. No, I Damn. agree with you. But I, I, do, I, do, I do still think there's a lot of question marks on the Cavaliers because I think they could either be really good or they could be a really big disappointment, you know? Um, yeah. still, the book is still open on this team. But they have the talent. They have it set up. They have the bench to compete in, this, in, in the Eastern Conference, most definitely, playoff. Well, another thing too, Dutch, is if I'm going to sit and watch a game and I have a chance to get a better number, like um, with live betting and sports being legal here, uh, you know, I don't have to maybe with a local, you know, lock in a number before tip off. So yeah. just kind of how I've been taking the whole season, honestly, sometimes you're going to miss miss the best number and that's just the way she goes. But that's, you know, I'm just trying to stay true to my guns here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Cavs are yeah, looking I mean, nice so far. Um, I think that philosophy, like tonight with with the Nuggets, I think if we wait on that game, we get a better number, you know? Um, I, like that I wouldn't bet. If I bet that game pre, it, it's seven and a half L.A. And if I'm going to look Denver, I'm going to wait. I know Denver has a tendency of starting off hot in the first quarter. But I have a feeling L.A. might be a little juiced up, you know? Oh, 100%. So I would I, I like I like the the weight. We got we got some good games, though, today. Like, I, I, I'm interested to see where the panel's leaning here. We got a 27-19 basketball game here with four to go in the first. And the Cavs are looking really good right now. 27 points in the first fucking. I mean, it was expected. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I wanted, I don't know if you heard me, LJ. I really wanted to bet him first half, but I stayed off of it because I haven't been playing, running that well at all. I didn't bet either game last night just to see. I just wanted to watch and see if I could get my ass back in the fucking groove. Yeah. And both would have won. I, I, I had a yeah. time. I like the Pelicans. I just knew they would win without Zion. Yeah. And I, I was like, Miami's going to punk these boys. Watch. Without, you know, it's going to be this faux fucking thing. And it was too easy money. I sat there and just watched it. And I wasn't even mad. I was just happy that I was fucking finally right, you know? Yeah, I feel you. I'd be feeling like that, too. <laughs> even if I didn't bet it, I'd be like, man, I was right, you know? Yeah, it's been that <laughs> way. I mean, <laughs> really, that's that's a feeling. Yeah, no, it's, it's a good thing to know sometimes. Some, some That's when I, you know, when I you're running bad, Cab. Come on, you know how it goes. Oh, bro, I have the lowest volume out of everybody on the screen. Of course I know how <laughs> 
<laughs> what, what what do you think made me do that? It was baseball a couple of years ago, and I was like, "No, fuck that! I'm not having ten MLB bets again." No, sir. <laughs> that was a that was a long day. But you know, shout out to our guy David Burns from Cedar Hill, Texas. You know, he's right up the road. He said Mavericks and six, man. I I hope the Mavericks take it. I'm, I'm Who's funny? Go. What's good, bro? You ain't been on in a while. What's up? Oh, I'm sorry. You I was. Up, man. You ain't been on in a while. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I got a job, so you know. Uh, hey, I, I got kinda, a job too. I kind of do that. But, yeah, you, know. you hear what he said, Moose? What? I was watching the Yankees game. I was like, God damn it, that was a great pitch. Oh, they already got up? out. I can tell you, I'm already ahead of you. Yeah, That's three outs again. Yeah, so we're gonna I, keep I, pressing I, you. Where you been? He said he's got a job too. Man, he hops in the fucking session his car when he has to on his lunch break. Yeah, uh, I don't have much of a lunch break. I have to cover recess when I'm out there. So you know the <laughs> teacher life. Uh, yeah, no, he's 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 grading, I don't like grading papers and shit. It's grading papers. He's not a ton of papers, it. you know. For PE, it's a little easier. It's just like, hey, can you shoot that ball? All right, good job, A plus, fantastic. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just, uh, I just got hired full time, so uh, I'm actually doing. Uh, Do you have weight training or no? <laughs> no, uh, the, it's middle school right now, uh, okay. so it's just kind of like there's a weight room. We're not. You're uh, not even allowed to play dodgeball anymore. Like there was a whole thing that was released. Dodgeball. <laughs> there was a like a release by the county of education where I'm at, where they said that oh, it's California. a game that should be uh, used infrequently. I think was the word they used. It's like they're trying to push it out. It's just like dodgeball on Fridays. I mean, that's what one teacher used to always do. But it was just like, all right, I don't really want to be the one teacher that's like, all right, hey, let's go out there. And then a kid gets their, you know, their feelings hurt. And mom makes a whole stink in the front office because that's unfortunately a bad part of uh, education now is the interaction between parents and teachers, which right, is god awful. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, PE man. That I was by that. far that was by far my favorite motherfucking class. Believe that, especially when it was weight training. Uh Moose, what um what what grade is it that you teach? Is it all grades or just it's all middle school, school grades, yeah. Okay. But I mean, you know, it's just teaching. It's uh, it's not the best part. I I'm fully into the whole MLB season, so that's kind of where a lot of my shit's at right now with uh with my mindset and uh getting home. I do I know cab knows this, I don't do quick caps. You know, my caps are like, you know, three hours long getting through the card. So, you know, when you get yes, home, I got to like, ask you, I got to ask you, though, what, what about all these fucking teachers, fucking students now? I mean, what's, what? going, on with that, bro? what's going on with that? What like, do you mean? Like, all hey, of a sudden, this... that shit been happening since the dawn of students and teachers. Like, that's not that's nothing new. No, I ain't uh, no teachers in my school that I could have. I'm telling you, like, that's been happening because I, I I remember nobody fucking <laughs> wearing any of my teachers. I can't even like, have facial hair in my school. And, like, I'm seeing, like, I'm seeing, like, I'm seeing good looking teachers fucking. Uh, yeah, dude, yeah, right. You know? now, now, I'm not talking. I'm not talking to 16, 17 year old. 17. Oh, he's a senior in high school and he's 17. And you know that ain't. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm. So, there's my. There's teachers fucking 12 year old boys and shit. Like, hey, listen, let, that be, let that be. A, let that be a lesson to everybody. Loose <laughs> lips sink ships. Keep your mouth yeah, shut. You're ruining a good thing for everybody. Or yeah, don't always, fuck 12 year olds. <laughs> yeah, they're fucking blowing themselves up. I mean, come on, it's stupid. Keep Every single yourself, one, Mike. Enjoy I'm it like, you got it. Yeah, Every here's single a, one. They, no, bro, it, they tell their mom, you know? Well, here's a good rule of thumb to live by uh, don't fuck kids. That's a pretty good rule to live by. Yeah, that's, that's good, too. Yeah, I, I, I second that one, too, Moose. Don't get it twisted. Hey. I'm just saying, if you're a 16 year old little man getting getting some top from your from your math uh, teacher, you know you might might just want to keep that one on the road. Yeah. Hey, like, right, Mike on that one. <laughs> Dude, there, there have been times, like especially at the high school level, there were times where like a student would walk in 100 percent for the first five minutes of class. I thought it was uh, like an assi a teacher assistant. Yeah. Like I was just like, all right, that, like this chick's definitely like 24, 25, like 100 percent. Right. And all of a sudden, you call their name on roll call, and they raise their hands like, "Nah, shut the fuck up." Uh, uh. Yeah, nah. yeah. You put your hand down good. right now. You put your hand down yeah. right now. Yeah. Hey, Ange, I'll give you one even worse. A teacher just got caught in a prostitution ring at a high school out here. Fucking Jesus! He was the students, bro. Oh shit! Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's that. That's, that, that's, that's game tight. <laughs> <laughs> like seriously, bro. It's hey, crazy, man. Hey, if they were 16 or above in some in some countries, that's 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 good, man. Dude, that takes high school clicks to a whole new level. That's crazy though. That's some Houston shit right there, huh? 
Oh, oh shit. shit. I'm <laughs> muted. Damn it. I've been fucking terrible with my mute today, guys. I did it like seven times on Jose's yeah, show, and I've already done it two or three times here. <laughs> we got a 31 23 <laughs> basketball game with two to go. Cap, real quick, let's go around the horn here and uh, let's get, oh, let's get, get out of here. Let's go. Yeah. We got some we got some really good action today in the NBA focused on, but whatever you're on today, let's hear it. We'll start we'll oh, start with uh, we'll start cool, with you, Pam. Right. What is on what's on the board that you like? And if it's just NBA, let's talk about it, man. Uh we got the Suns, we got the uh you know the Timberwolves, big game, big huge game, right? I'm, I'm really interested to hear what you gotta say on this one because I, I think a lot of people are on the other side of me on this one. The Sixers and the Knicks, and then of course we got the late night game, LA. In Denver, man, oh man, we got some battles in place here. And I'll tell you what, if it wasn't for this afternoon game, I wouldn't even know the NBA is going. Once five o'clock starts, I am locked into the NHL. But I'll tell you this: uh, the the thing I've been rolling with here, first half unders in playoffs. Now, doesn't look like it's going to work out for this one. We'll see what happens in the second quarter. But five and one to the under in the first halves of these playoff games this year, uh, sixty two percent hit rate over the last three NBA seasons. First half unders, so. Probably kind of makes sense here that the first game everyone's kind of going out there, balls out. I think as the as the series shrink down, they'll uh, they'll start playing a little more defense here. But man, I don't know. I mean, I see reverse line movement <laughs> on that Sixers Knicks spot there. I'm gonna take the Sixers. Fuck, fuck these Knicks, man. Fuck them. Can't just come. Can't just come around here and decide now you want to play basketball. Fuck you. The Sixers have been rolling. They're ready to rock. And man, that Lakers Nuggets spot, dude. I'm pretty jacked up about that Lakers opportunity to go out there and down these Nuggets. I know everyone was saying the Lakers didn't want these Nuggets, but the Nuggets are the Lakers kryptonite now, and I think they got an opportunity to go out there, at least at a plus seven. We got line movement in that direction as well. It's down to six and a half. I like that Lakers spot too, so I'm plus dogging on these guys here. I don't know about that Suns-Timberwolves game. I, I, I'm kind of of the opinion I could give a fuck what happens in that series. Okay, okay. Yeah, um, I'm with you with the Sixers, man. I'm with you with the Sixers. They're, they're just better than the Knicks. They're better. If the Embiid's out there, they're better than the Knicks. Believe that. Uh, you know, okay. you know, Dutch, when when uh, Embiid got that injury, everyone kind of that big exhale. You could feel collectively Philadelphia just exhaled like, oh, shit. Uh, they went through their rigmarole. They went through their, their losses. But Embiid sends that text. He says, I'll be back at the end of March or whatever it was. He came back. The team started picking up wins. They're winning with and beat back in the lineup with a huge expectation. And now you're giving them a plus four. I mean, that's disrespectful. That's yeah, I think they're live to win the game, really, to be honest with yeah. you. And, you know, um, New York kind of had a little, little sit around. I mean, New York shooting is going to be suspect to me. And I think Jalen Brunson getting all this pub. And, Bun and Brunson is Mr. Buckets. Do not get it twisted. But Tyrese yeah. Max is a bad motherfucker as well. Um, Fuck yeah. I think he can kind of go blow for blow with Brunson. Who's going blow for blow with uh, Joel and beat? And look for Tobias to be now the third option. Look for him to be big too. What are you smoking on over there on 420, Pimp? Oh man, you know, I got this. Uh, I don't even know what I got rocking right here. I got the I got the lemon haze back on reserve. I'm back up. I got a new strain that I just dropped in the old ground out there, but I'm not even sure what this is, to be honest with you. I got it from the dispensary. You know what? I went to a legal dispensary for the first time in New York here. Uh uh, about a week ago, and uh, disappointed experience, but nonetheless, it's legal. You can go out there like it's motherfucking 7 Eleven and pick that shit up, man. So it's <laughs> exciting. Well, exciting to see. But let it. me know, though. Let me know. Great feeling, huh? It's a great feeling. I, mean, I want to know what your first purchase was in New York or, you know, or wherever the fuck you're at. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll have to look. I'll have to go it's back. Fine, and look. It'll, it'll come to you. It'll come to you. Yeah, you know, the, the, I'll tell you what, man, the smell, too, when you're when you're like a block away, all you can smell is like, damn, is that me? I smell my shirt. I'm like, do I got to do some laundry? Get on up there, though. Uh, I say disappointed because everything was kiosk driven. So there was no, um, you know, there was no uh, no no see and tell type of thing. It was just pick it from the kiosk and then they go behind the counter. They get it all for you back back room, and bring it out in a little nice bag for you. So kind of a disappointment. You know, I want to see it at least. I want to smell it. I want to take a look at it, what the nuggets look like. Yeah, you're gonna be disappointed, disappointed bro. Regard. You go to California, yeah. you go to Cali, they open that shit up in a jar and let you smell it, and then they weigh it out in front of you, like at most at, yeah. at the dispensaries that you really want to go to, right? But it, 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 dispensaries are different everywhere. But yeah, it's like that in Nevada too. Like you ain't really, you're just looking at it, bro. You know, Colorado is a lot better. You're just looking at it though. But you're right. I'm looking though, at a picture on a kiosk, like it was a fucking ATM machine. You know, it's like give, give me something more. Give me something more now. Let me smell it. You hit the parking lot or a block away, you start smelling that kush. Oh, That's yeah. 
Yeah. That is definitely a beautiful thing. Ick, my guy, we're up, we're up right here in this first quarter here. You, you were talking about the under, so some points have been scored in this first quarter. How are we feeling about this Cavaliers basketball game right now? We got a 33-26 seven-point lead at the end of one. And how are we feeling about these three other huge basketball games, my dude? Um, Right now, yeah, Cavs are looking great. The under did. The live line is at 211 and a half. It was sitting around one or 215 and a half for a little bit. So just kind of playing the waiting game with that. Um, be looking to live bet this first this first half. So yeah, I, I think the Cavs can win the second quarter, and they are up by seven right now. So we'll see what kind of line we can get for the first half as the second quarter rolls as far as the sun phoenix uh i i would like to see the suns lose and not move on but that's as far as i care about that that series um phoenix has been a real tough team for me to get a hold of a, a grasp on this year so i've just kind of been staying off of them whether it doesn't matter what the matchup is honestly and yeah i totally agree with uh philly Plus four, that is one I would, I would lock in. You know, pregame, I'll, I'll be totally fine with that. And even if you want to hit that plus one fifty six, I think they match up well with Randall out. Um, and you know, this, I don't know why this line is given the Sixers points. Like you were saying, Maxi and Brunson. I like that matchup a lot, and the they're both kind of dog players that can get it on their own too, and you'll see them play both sides of the ball. So that's going to be fun. But who's going to stop and beat is like you were saying, Dutch. So, um, yeah, I'm on the Sixers there. And seven almost seems like too much for the Lakers, but that one I do just want to watch. I just want to watch if it – it could be a blowout, or it could be the Lakers are in there all the way to the end, and you know, seven points is too much to be given them pregame. So, but yeah, Sixers, I'm locking it in plus four, and then uh, I'll wait for an opportunity to hit them again throughout Sixers the game. Cheese steaks. I know our boy Mikey Money digging that. It's six or five so far uh, around the panel. Our boy, uh, Jay Peasy, if you didn't know, he's on the motherfucking intro in the chat, holding it down. Good to see you, my dude. Hopefully all is well. And happy motherfucking 420. And it, most importantly on a 420, man, what are we smoking on? We smoking on some, uh, hey, in the middle of a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, just some fucking... Some fucking outdoor backyard boogie, man. <laughs> backyard boogie, yeah. yeah. I don't even know what strain it is. It turned I know out you got a fast pack of that then, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> Ain't gonna burn. Check it out, check it out. Uh, I got the motherfucking, what, fuck, I'm so loaded. That Donnie Burger, though, that Donnie Burger wax, if you get, if you see it on the shelves, most definitely get it. Oh, I got the wedding pie in here with the, uh, with the Donnie Burger wax. Fucking unbelievable. LJ. My nope. God, I know you out there shopping around now, but mo well, let's get to the let's get to the money, man. Let's get to the money. I know you're on the Cavs here, so you're liking what you're seeing so far. We got seven point lead here, full game. What are we liking with these three huge basketball games later in the day? Are you are you vibing with the Philly vibes? Yeah, I'm real, I'm I'm definitely with the Philly vibes, simply because Embiid didn't play three of those four games that they played this year, so exactly. I believe he's the huge difference because when he got injured. Philly was being outscored five points per possession. He's come back in the lineup. They're outscoring the opponent 10 points possession. So that's a big swing, bro. And like Ix Nizzle will say, who's going to guard and beat? Because I think Brunson and Maxi cancel each other out for the most part because they're both going to play both sides. You know, and Embiid's going to pick his spots. You're going to have to double team him. So it's just all about him passing out the double team and finding an open man and everybody converting. So his assist is a great look. It's probably a four and a half. I think his assist is a great look because they're going to double team him. So him kicking it out, those guys going to have to um, execute. And I'm, I'm on Kelly Oubre's prop. I think he's at 12 and a half points, 14 and a half, somewhere around there. 
You know, he was the third leading scorer when he was when he was out of the lineup. So I think he'd be big too. Yeah, I believe he he likes to perform. You know, he's up front of the lights at Madison Square Garden. You know, he's a dog like that. You know, he gets amped and up. For he moment. didn't he didn't have a great game last time out either. Yeah, so, so you know he'll be ready to roll. I think that's one a steal, thing I don't though. like though. Go ahead, my bad, LJ. No, I was just saying I think that's a steal on his points. I believe it's at uh, what did I have it at? Sixteen and a, over twelve and a half is what I got because he's averaging sixteen and a half after the All Star break. So I believe that's a steal. Uh, Suns in Minnesota. I want to watch, man. I'm like y'all. I really don't. Have Everybody's a scared. Everybody's in church because the Suns are Jekyll and Hyde, bro. You know, you right. think they're gonna win, they, they lose, and you don't take them, and they smash. So you gotta wait and see with them. Plus, they beaten the Wolves nine out of the last ten times, bro. They beat them four straight already this year, right? Bro, the Wolves should have that yeah. on the blade. That should be something they're thinking about. This team smacks us up every time we play them. So game one at home. In front of your home crowd, you know, they should be up for this game. So I stayed off of that one. But Denver Lakers, I'm all on Denver, bro. Y'all know how I feel about Denver at home versus the West. First quarter, full game, man. Lakers have to I prove to me that they can beat this team, you know. But that's that's all I got right there as far as the NBA, you know. I like those in yeah. already. I'll, I'll drop in there. I'll give you guys one that I do like in that Suns game, man. Grayson Allen, give me his three-pointer prop. He's been fucking oh, up. Oh really? Oh really? Well, you want to you want to hold my fucking cock too while you're at it or what? Well, you want to talk some numbers? What do you got, Grayson Allen? Did you say that? Guy, huh? hey, this is, I wasn't hey, even listening. Fucking... Talk about Grayson, active listening. Grayson I wasn't Allen, even listening. Grayson Allen is the fucking <laughs> is the fucking prop I was giving out on the sesh. Now he's gonna come on here and be like, Oh, oh what's you <laughs> giving it out on the <laughs> well, You don't watch <laughs> last call, motherfucker. I've been talking Grayson oh, Allen for a while. Get here. I forgot about this fucking dookie. Listen to you, fucking women. Get out of here. He wants to pick up the fucking shit. Go ahead, Baldy. Take the shot. Go ahead. Listen. Listen. It's not as hard as you guys make it look. I'll tell you that much. (laughs) Yeah, not when you could just not when you could be like, oh yeah, that's a good play. I'll I'll take it. I don't know who the fuck you mean, guys. You trying to throw me in there? Fuck you then. I was about to call him (laughs) Gilligan or something. What the fuck you mean, guys? And now he's talking to you guys down there below, too, obviously. The fuck you mean, guys. Fuck you, Mike. Uh, what's going on? Right. What's going Let's on? talk about it, though. Let's Dutch talk was about being it. Let's a talk. dick, and then Mike yeah, was no, a dick, I got and he it. said you guys instead of you I wasn't Dutch. being a dick. Hey, let's 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 not uh, let's not leave out Moose Money, though. He's got money in his motherfucking name. So I don't know if he's on the NBA today, but we know he's talking. We know he's sweating some baseball. What are we, uh, mm-hmm. who are we on today? Uh, I got nothing in NBA. I had I bet one day that was Christmas Day had like the best day ever. I think I went like eleven and one or something like that, like some ridiculous thing. And I just never got back on NBA. Uh, a lot of it was following uh, uh, one of the goats out there, Jay Money. Uh, shout out him because uh, he was definitely a influential person on that day. Uh, I know he had a good day, and consequently, Moose Money had a good day, but. Uh, MLB is where my mind is at. That's where all my that's where my heart and soul is at. So that's what I'll be watching, watching the Yankees and uh, Rays right now. Uh, top of the fourth, 0-0 zero, zero still right now. Nestor looking good. And Eflin doing what I thought, feared he might do, which is pitch well at Yankee Stadium, something he's done pretty uh, consistently over the last couple of years. I dig it. I dig it. Uh, yeah, shout out to our boy Jay Money. We know he's out there somewhere. You know, probably, actually, I believe he's in uh, – Denver. Uh, Denver, Denver. Yeah, he's in Colorado right now. Mile high. He's probably a motherfucking mile high. Hopefully he's on the – hopefully he's, uh, you know, going to that game tonight. He probably is. But, uh, yeah, shout out to our boy Jay Money. Happy 420 to the homie. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. You said don't live bet overs or plus the Holy point. shit. Look at that worm. That's that Donnie Burger worm. Dutch, you didn't have one of those man. Yeah. I'm on that blue cookies, bro. Blue cookies. The blue cookie cut. Yee. Hey, that's yeah. that. That's that real base shit. Yeah, hey. you know why I'm on it too. Wipey sleep right now, so you should know why I'm on this right now. Yeah, right. man. That, yeah, that shit. That <laughs> shit is lovely. Uh, the blue cookies. Um, Got to roll another one right now. The blue cookie cut. When that shit was brought to me from the bay, like I was like, wow, that shit is unbelievable. Shout out to Marcus McCarthy in the building. Shout out to Troy Torrance in the building. I see it's about you. About to be dude. a beautiful day, man. I don't know what y'all mean, but today's gonna be lovely. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. absolutely. Um, what are you smoking on, Moose? Uh, there may or may not be something. I have no idea what I got in the other room. So 
Uh, it was just a bag that I found, and it was like, all right, this looks good enough. It, it's not uh, it's not dried out like a you know a horse's ass. So uh, get <laughs> get throwing that in there. I have a question. I, I, I wish question I could give I you better information, Dutch. Stuff. I wish I could give you better information, but that's that's basically what it was. I wish I could hide bro, weed from myself. He's, bro, I can't even see straight right what now. What up, both uh, yeah, yeah, it was literally like, you, uh, oh, Billy, shit. you fucking kid in the building. There's these finest. How we feeling? I ain't gonna lie, man. Uh, you know, I'm more of a night owl. This is the what it what o'clock in the afternoon East Coast time is like 10 a.m. to me, man. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> Bro, that yeah, last hit that diamonds I just took almost made me pass out on screen, bro. These I gotta chill out with these diamonds. These things hitting too hard. I forgot to see when I spot. I wanted to see how long this fucking thing was gonna last, but I was diamonds last forever, <laughs> forever, 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 ever. Yeah, uh, diamonds, <laughs> diamonds after Tyler Diamond from last night. Yeah, uh, I, I should spark up. I'm still diamonds. high off the fucking ones we smoked at Pub Three. Every fucking joint had. Oh. <laughs> bro, I'm, I'm feeling like I did that. That when when it was when we were when we watched that movie, bro, we smoked Mike to sleep. We literally smoked Mikey right to sleep. Fuck you! I wasn't oh. sleeping. I was resting my eyes. You saw me get he up was, and start. It was, it was a long day. Oh, it was a, a long day for that. Resting my eyes, you fucks. I that is old man speak for. Shit. I was passed the fuck out. That is old man speak for. I was passed the fuck out. Bro, it was the funniest shit I'd ever seen because he literally, I promise you he was asleep because I could hear him fucking, I don't know, I wouldn't call it snoring, but the way he was breathing. And then oh, yeah, he no, fucking no. goes and sits up and grabs his beer and takes a drink and then lays back down like yeah. right there. I'm like, what the ass. fuck? That's how you do it, boys. I was just in the zone is what they call that. You guys haven't been in the zone before? You must not be smoking them diamonds. Come on now. So some people sleepwalk, but Mike sleep drinks. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm getting. Yeah. At. He was sleep drinking. Huh. Uh, we got a 35-28 basketball game, 9:29 to go here in Cleveland. Billy Brisbane, how we feeling, my man? What we on? What we on today? And not only, and are you on uh, anything in this basketball game? And we got three big, big time NBA games later today. We all, we all feeling the Philly vibes. We see the hoodie, man. We're glad it's not the other one. I will say that, and I'm feeling this hoodie. <laughs> I, I will say that as well. I, I, I will say though. Um, being a uh, residential Sixer fan, A, I don't think B plays game one. B, even if he does or if he doesn't, I don't think we're trying to – we're trying to win, don't get me wrong, but I think we dropped game one. We're trying to go one and one in New York, and I don't think the Saturday one is the most conducive one with the way the scheduling was for the play-in tournament for us. Uh, B probably needs an extra day at rest with that extra game that they had to throw in there. Uh, he's listed as questionable for this game. And I don't think he plays, so I didn't bet the Sixers. I'm on Cleveland. Uh, ran a little too like parlay in the UFL, but uh, I got I to gotta talk to the hockey man. There is not a person in the community that is up more money this year in fucking hockey that I've ever seen the Mikey money here. Uh, Mikey, yeah, I didn't pull the trigger yet because I had to check in with you. Carolina in regulation, or am I tripping? Man, that's a big number, isn't it, right now? Ah. Uh... Uh, I, tough number. Last time I looked before I went to sleep, minus 130 yeah. in regulation. Is that the numbers at now? Uh, that's a tricky series, it. man. I, I'll tell you, the thing that's tough about that series for me is the Islanders having that coaching change. Patrick Waugh's philosophy coming in there as the head coach has moved to an offensive-oriented team, which is fucking well-deserved because the Islanders have played dog shit defensive hockey forever. And so kind of where I would lean to this thing here is the over. I think it's a contrarian pick. I think a lot of people see these two teams. They know they're under, under teams. Yeah. Carolina's an under team as well. But I think we see some goals flying off of this thing to start things off. I just um, – I don't know. I, I would say Carolina's going to win that game. Yeah. I, regulation, sure. Are we going to see overtime in the first game? Probably not. The fun part about the NHL, unlimited overtimes. It's sudden death. They roll 20-minute periods. They'll go till 6 in the morning if they have to, and uh, that makes it for a lot of fun. But, uh, but yeah, I'm not mad at that Carolina tippy, regulation. Yeah, that, that was the one play I was looking at. And then uh, Inter-Miami plays also today in the MLS. Messi and the boys. I was looking at Messi and the boys minus the one at plus one. Damn, man, I need to get into the soccer, man. I don't even be on my radar. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Messi was playing and he was up. I, so I was like, that, that's that got to definitely be a uh, late. 
Nice Yo, shout out to this uh, Cleveland game, though, guys. Take a take a peek if you get it out there. It's closed for me right now, but Evan Mobley over two and a half threes is plus two thirty. It's closed right now. Fucking guys already got two of them. Give me give me this over two and a half at plus two thirty. It's the second it opens, but take a look at your book because if it's open now, I would fucking jump in there and hammer it. There he is, the machine giving you all. He'll definitely knowledge. get the. Uh, he'll definitely get the looks, Mike. He's he's been yeah. open, you know, around the perimeter. What are they looking for Seven in times. this call right now? Uh, uh, I don't know. Marco Fultz with the four. The now and then Niang went up like, hey, why are you fucking? Niang. The, the other one I would look to is uh, Jonathan Isaac, too. This guy's already got one. He's over one and a half right now at plus 114. Those are two guys I would talk about right now. You know who's so key for these boys is, is uh, Levert for the Cavs, in my opinion. They can yeah. get him back to – Really playing like he's capable of. Like we've seen him play without D. He he hurts. <clears throat> he gets hurt the most though from Don Mitchell going in and out of the lineup like he did. Right. That's why it's half struggle, man. You can't have a player that caliber come in, come out, demand well, the ball. When he was in, Garland was out some, you know, most of the time. Yeah, they, I mean, and then Mobley was out. I mean, so you, you needed know, like, Levert to play a starting role when he's best suited, I believe, off the bench for us. Yeah, as like a Jamal Crawford guy. Yeah, yeah he crazy. is. He he can be like he can be the he's like Malik Monk, probably better than that. You know, honestly, with the ball in his hand, he can really go. We've seen him in Brooklyn be, you know, pretty, actually, real nice in Brooklyn. That's pre knee injury though. Pre knee injury, Karis LeVert was damn near one of the upcoming stars in the league, and then he fucked that knee up. Yeah, yeah but he's still nice though. He just can't really shoot. That's why he's not really. He's never really improved. You know. He's still really nice. I'm telling you, he just can't really shoot. Everyone's like, just let that motherfucker shoot. Don't let him get to the paint on you. Nah, that ass though. I, 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 the jury's still out on the Cavs. I hope they win this game one because I got money on them. But I was saying this to Schnizzle earlier this week. You can't be no 6'2 shooting guard in the NBA in the year 2024, bro. That do work. <laughs> that don't work. Long term. Right. <laughs> So I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, you know, I'm thinking about what you were saying about Joel Embiid. I'm, a, I'm, I'm hoping that's not the case, but obviously, I mean, it's a sharp, it was a sharp, it sounded good. I mean, it sounded sharp. Doesn't, you're right. I mean, would New Philly be mad if they go back to Philly 1 1? No, that's the goal, right? But, um, I do yeah. think they, I think they carry a little bit of momentum from, from, uh, from the heat. You know, I, I think Joel B would – I don't see why he would he's sit. Late. He's about 80 percent He's one of the NBA playoffs. I mean, it's not a good look, bro. Yo, it's, good. it's every year, bro. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the year is, what the situation is. That motherfucker be hurt every fucking playoff yeah. series. It's always the Joel Embiid injury news, the Joel Embiid injury news. And for a guy that's supposed to be only 80% on a 30-minute – uh, limit cap him playing 40 minutes against Miami. I don't know, man. Like, you all want to burn him down before we even get deep in the series because we did that shit last year against Boston. And by the time it came to game seven, that motherfucker did not look healthy at all. They called that a weak ass person, uh, flagrant, yeah. and then he missed the fucking free throw. Like, he looked so okay. stiff up there. I'll, I'll tell you from the Embiid side of things there, I like his under in the points tonight. You know, I do expect him to play. I don't think he's going to sit this one out, but I do think he's going to potentially look at the minutes restriction. I do expect the Sixers to go up enough that they can bring him back off a little bit, give him a, give him a reduction in playing time. It's 29 and a half points right now too. So the under 29 and a half at minus 106, fuck, even if he ends up getting hurt again, re-aggravates the injury he comes out. As long as he starts, we're in business with this thing here for me. Embiid, I'm going with the under. I actually think you should sit him this game, and then he'll be ready to go for Monday, Wednesday. Uh, Monday, I think it's Monday, Wednesday, or no, Monday, Thursday, and Saturday would be the schedule for the uh, rest of the series. Like, he'll play Monday, get three days off, play Thursday, and then play uh, Sunday. So if Joel uh, beats hit the game in this in this series, they lose this series, in my opinion. That that gives their teammates no confidence. This motherfucker sitting game one of the NBA fucking playoffs. Yeah, I don't see if you're, if you're, if you're Nick Nurse. Where they do that at? 
Y'all beat y'all is like granted, like New York beat the shit out of us multiple times, but I mean we did beat New York without Joel Embiid and company. So like eh, we've done it before, shit. Hey, talk to him, man. I mean, I beat it. It's the playoffs. You, they did their job to get here, and they ain't gonna sit him. Come on now. That, that was like yeah. saying He's not healthy. The Lakers didn't want to win that game. Because of the playing the Nuggets. Well, we talked about that too. At some yeah. point, you're gonna have to play the fucking Nuggets if they're gonna make a, another run, and you're gonna make a run as the Lakers. So, unless unless his knee is actually fucked up, he's definitely he's gonna be starting. Up. Now he might be on a minutes. Uh, you know, like you're gonna have to see how he plays throughout the game. But I don't see a scenario where he doesn't. He doesn't. His play. knee's clearly fucked up. If you if you watch if you watched him playing that Miami game, a lot of the bang bang plays that he usually does, he was just saying, "Fuck that! I'm shooting a jump shot." Like yeah, you know. he shot him. they just went in in the fourth quarter. <laughs> well, and that's why I think Mike has a good angle there with the um with Under. the assist. You know, because they're gonna double him, and and he is wide a good open. Actor. Oh my god. Let's fucking go. The live line on this first half under is now 100 and a half. Let's fucking go. Yeah, they 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 can't buy buckets anymore. Yeah, keep bricking it up, baby. Build this fucking schoolhouse for us. Even, brick, the, brick, even brick, the, brick, the live boys missing the three pointers for you, Mikey. Hey. I'm gonna dump some more of these diamonds in this joint. Uh yeah, boys, Carol. game that's about to pop off. Uh, maybe we baseball. Season, folks. What a game about to pop off in baseball. I'm on here. I took the first five under four and a half in this Brewers game. First five under four and a half. Yo, oh, so this is a very tough. Uh, uh, our boy, our boy Justin in the chat says he's got the Knicks to win that series. Um, nah, I think if Joel beats healthy, if Joel beats healthy, it's a wrap. If Joel beats out, you'll you'll win that bet. It's still you said a wrap. You took the under first five, Mike. Yeah, under four and a half. I don't even – man, I had the team total with the Brewers yesterday. Who was it? Somebody in the chat said they need Yelich back. Man, I don't know how their numbers are so good because they look like shit at the plate as a team yesterday when I was watching them. I do not think that they keep their numbers where they're at. Moose might have something to – I mean, Gibson got quite a few calls. Phil Cuzzy was fucking awful back there yesterday. Okay. He was – he was god awful. I mean, you know this. You know this, Cap. If you're going to give a pitcher that generally throws strikes and you're going to give him an automatic 0 1 count almost every single batter. Yeah. And that's pretty much what happens. And I, I like what uh, I personally watched the Brewers quite a bit recently just because I was on them uh, versus the Orioles and then the Padres played them. And I was on them last night, first five. So, you know, thank you for the one run that they did score. Uh, but their approaches are starting to get a little too aggressive because I think they had that mindset of uh, hunt fastball early because they were crushing fastballs early in a lot of those series. And the Padres were just like, all right, we're just going to start throwing you first pitch breaking balls. And it was working. And that might be what the league is adjusting to right now is they're throwing them more first pitch breaking balls to a team that generally uh, is hunting aggressively fastball early. So that's exactly what I said on betting with the bag when I was talking about it is that their their approach at the plate is disgusting for the Brewers. So, yeah, I agree, man. I like Mikey's yeah. under on that. I don't know where he went, but that's a start of the topic. Yeah, it's uh, Michaelis and D uh, Hall, right? Yeah, Michaelis yeah. Hall. Yeah. yeah, I think Michaelis throws good at home today. So, yeah, I can't I can't figure that fucking guy out. I just Ever. I have no idea. It, it, it's just like. I thought I had figured out. I was like, oh, all right. In division, out of division. Those are the numbers to pay attention to. And then, yeah, no, that did not last very long. He's just an enigma. And he has actually pitched well against the Brewers. So, but he's pitched poorly this year. He has one season with horrible home road splits. And then it's completely opposite the next year. He's just, he's a weird dude ever since he came back from uh, Japan, I think. I want to say he went over to Japan. I don't know where he was, but I know he was overseas. Yeah. Um, yo, shout out. We just had just over 90 people in here in the chat, man. Appreciate everybody showing up here to, you know, smoke one with us on 420. You know the deal. It's cool if you don't smoke. It's just a lot fucking cooler if you do. 
and we're glad you're here to do it with us on Pub Sports Radio, man. A uh, shout out to the members means a ton. You know, we got one person that runs this channel, Jeff Slaughter, and he holds it down for us. So shout out to the guy, Jeff Slaughter. And shout out to you members out there in the chat. Keep sharing the video. Let's see if we can get up over 100 people in here. Uh, the more people, the longer we're going to rock out, obviously. Um, all my MLB action hasn't even popped off yet, so I got a bunch of bets coming up. I got, well, four bets. I guess that wouldn't be a bunch in Mikey's terms, but to me, four bets is a lot. That's I got a lot four for MLB you. bets. That's crazy. Oh, my goodness. Was Jose <laughs> pulling your leg this morning, or what was going on, man? No, I, just, I, I, I go real ahead. Real quick, I just locked in the Cavs first half minus seven and a half. That means they have to win the se uh, second quarter. Oh, That's yeah. it. All right, I get down with that. Don't yeah, I love that some live action. I almost want to go bet it just because, but I'm not watching. But it would just be tailing you anyways. I didn't want to interrupt you, but that you know the line might move. You know, no, we so, need to know. You can get better. Take bet, it. If it's a bet. If you're giving out a bet, you can always overtalk somebody. It's always a good thing to go go in with. What do you think about that seven and a half on the first half, Dutch, that he just took? <laughs> Motherfucker ain't even listening. No, he's talking. Muted? Come on, Cap. Hey. I mean Dutch, let's go. I, I just wasn't going to tell him. I know. Yeah, I, dude, I can just see Cab enjoying that moment just so deliciously. Yeah. It's like this. I didn't want to ruin it for him. Like on the other side of the fence. Oh, the grass is so much greener over here. It's so much better, too. <laughs> Good. You're a dick, bro. No, I was watching the game, too, because I'm like, oh, that's funny shit. Oh, man. That, that fucking that plane got me loaded. Um, yeah, I like it, man. Jared, they're up nine right now. You know, I like it. Under with six to go. They're, they're, they should be blowing these boys out. I think it's just a matter of time. So let's cash some bats, boys. Here we got this first half sitting at 99 and a half. How about this? Oh no, they just closed it down on me. Never mind. Never mind. They keep turning the ball over. Is that you know, it's just that should be no, they're gonna keep it here. But yeah, I and like Jared it. Jared Allen back in the game, he rested a while. And you got yeah. I want that got three to open up, man. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to wait till halftime. Banchero is a, is a man child though. That dude's fucking good. Moose, did you have money line first five with the Yankees? Yeah, and the run line. So, I'll just continue uh, to get better too, Dutch. But I was gonna say three out. Push, or, push or cash one or the other. Yeah, I mean, Ooh. I'm hoping I'm yeah. hoping something happens. I was just got that rainbow. <laughs> My phone died, so I had to, I'm like rebooting it right now. I just kind of was like, "Oh shit, what's going on there?" All right, fuck. You're right. Uh, Yo, I'm back. the only one who's getting fucking fried, fried. You guys got to understand. I can't even see you guys right now because that cough made my eyes <laughs> like. Well, I, I, this is like my fucking seventh joint this morning, and it's like I, I barely even just took my first bite of food, bro. I'm no, I'm with you, bro. I'm, I'm right there with you. I don't know how many I've smoked already. Ah, fuck. <laughs> he's like, I smoke in the house. Bro, as soon as he left, <laughs> I already was lined up, bro. As soon as he walked out the door. Bro, these times are <laughs> telling you, bro. It's like, ah, boo. You got their shit already <laughs> rolled up. Like, yeah, this motherfucker about to leave. Man, listen. Okay. I've been waiting this day all week. For real. It's going to be games. I wish we had stuff. some shit that I had downloaded for the show, but I never got it put on the But did you see that watch? I guess we can show it uh, next time. But did you see that watch with the roulette wheel in it that I sent in there? <laughs> No, that's oh, good. I, that. I, I, yeah, I sent you guys some good shit. I sent you guys some good shit. We'll have to use that for the session on Monday. Are you yeah, talking about that fucking room? Is that real? You think? Mike sent uh, us a video of it had fucking. I, I wouldn't. I don't even want to guess how much weed was in the room because it's not ooh. pounds. It's like tons. Like dude, they were rolling around with wheelbarrows. Do you see the size oh, of the yeah, wheelbarrows they were rolling around with? Well, yeah, we, that that one we should have for today, honestly, because it's fucking four twenty. But it'll be it'll be cool for the sesh too. But we should have. We I got I have a couple fucking things that we should be that should be uploaded for this show. But Mike sends me some real questionable shit that I don't see sometimes though. I just yeah. want to say, you it's think I send questionable shit? Wait till you see. I, I'll share some of the stuff Mike sent me over the past <laughs> few weeks. 
you, you'll understand questionable. <laughs> I know. It must be wearing off on you because you sent some pretty weird shit. No, nothing like that army oh, thing that you sent me the other day. I sent you uh, I sent you guys a wood or a wooden. There were five of them lined up, and it was a wood on it. Yeah, we'll use that. That'll fit the the mode, too, that it I It was not a wood or a wooden. It was a five woods in a row. There was nothing clever <laughs> to it. It was just five. Yeah, they, yeah it's just woods. Yeah. yeah. But it, 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 the, the, I like this. Yeah. I like the the... The little thing it says, though. Yeah, the little know. caption on top of it. There. Yeah, the caption. That's not the video I'm talking about, Mike. I'm talking about the one in the in the military that you sent me. You don't even don't send me any more videos like that. <laughs> Just don't send me any more videos like that. <laughs> you like the one with the sink where they got to turn the sink on? <laughs> That's it's your one, favorite right? one, isn't it? Because you sent me that one like three times, and we already showed it on the sesh. Dutch yeah. like that one too. I know Dutch remembers that penis to me. I just thought it's funny that you guys are getting mad. To turn on the sink and the one girl's like, I know. <laughs> you guys are getting mad at a pimp be pimping. Like I don't, I don't get I what the frustration is here. Yeah, like, I just I oh, prefer my pimp to pimp the ladies. Eyes. Not that's the how dudes. much I like that one. There's tears in my eyes. Wait, you, so <laughs> was five hot dudes? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did Mike what you send saying? you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, I had so many follow up questions. I was like, "All right, hold on." <laughs> I'll send it all. It. Cost, cost my timeline. It's open game for everybody. Make else. Free throws, Jared. <laughs> oh, What's the score in the game throws. right now? Up ten right now. It should be up eleven. Let's slow up the 11. scoring down here. Slow it down. Seven thirty-six. Four to go. Brick, 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 baby. Banchero bringing it up, running the point. Man, I was watching no, that first half live on too. That guy went up pass. at 16. As funny as I say he's running the point, he just throws a horrible pass. <laughs> yeah, horrible. Yo, we do have over 90 people in here with us again. So uh keep sharing the video. Let's keep pumping it up. Like I said, we'll keep staying on here if you guys are in here. Shout everybody. out, Dan. Appreciate Dan. everybody. Man. Hit that hit that thumbs up for us. Show the support, man. Let this community be loud and proud, baby. We're out here doing it on the regular club sports radio, man. Hit that thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Yo, uh, cheers, new beer. Let's go. Here, I'll have another drink with you, man. I've already had one, but I'm not. I got one. I got a fresh cocktail. I'm ready. Yo, who left these? Because these are kind of gross. You know, I took all that alcohol back from San Antonio. Whose were these? Hey, that ain't gross. I drink those every day. Are Um, they what? I know those are awesome. Try one more time. The watermelon one ain't that good. You probably like it better on uh, with a cup of ice. So there's different flavors. Yeah, yeah that, the watermelon. That's why I don't like it because I don't like this flavor. Yeah, you probably don't. But those, the funny, those are the really funny part was that with all that booze, I brought that bottle of vodka in that last day, and fucking that thing was gone. Everybody handled that bottle. I don't this know what happened. It was early. Motherfuckers was early. <laughs> you know, who was it that brought this, bro? Fuck. Somebody brought this. It was like I don't like the Casamigos, and I was like, well, fuck, I'll take it. Casamigos is <laughs> like Casamigos. <laughs> Man, I wish I could remember. I don't. It wasn't. T- who was it? Man. I'll remember. You don't I'll guess. Think. You can't. You can't put somebody on a list like that when you're guessing. Hmm. I don't remember. <laughs> there was an awkward silence was- there. <laughs> that was great. No point. It was like I felt like you were supposed to throw somebody oh, totally under the oh. bus. Oh, like, uh, uh, may have been too much. Hey, I oh, took his no. points prop too. Looks like he's gonna get it. I'm gonna need this Let's first go. half to stay under. Stop scoring. Oh, yeah. And I'm when Darnell having you guys. the ball like scoring. that, I was I'm way behind you guys. That shit was gangster though. They moved the ball all around the court and then finished with a nice ass dunk. They they're gonna win this game by double digits, ladies and gentlemen. Up 14. Ix Nizzle's place looking pretty motherfucking good right now. Minus seven and a half, first half. Good call. This is team. Yeah. He knows his team. That's how it should well, be. Well, I was just like, uh, you know, doing what we do, live betting and sweating. <laughs> you know, I'm we we fucking are watching all these spots, and we like the back quarters. Well, at that point, the Cavs just had to win the second quarter, just win it, you know. 
it was a half a point basically is what the line was. So let's fucking rock with it. And Jared Allen was sitting out at that point for, for a good while. And it was tied. It was a good time to take it. Not saying that Orlando can't have a little run here too, but uh, we'll take numbers like that. Shout out to the pimp slapper. My man. Let's go, baby. I see our guy, Troy Torrance, says, Daddy Cabot was nasty, Nate. Go figure. Guy only eats Wagyu burgers and turkey hot dogs. He he doesn't like Casamigos, stuff. Get out of here. He's blocking everybody in our chats. Where is he? Where is nasty Nate today? Uh (laughs) Oh, yeah, he did text me a little bit ago and said, hold on, where did it say? He said, don't let Mike Mike lie to you. 420 was cop code for marijuana violations in police stations. Uh, so that's where it came that. from. I don't know about that. Go look it up. Do your homework. What well, I mean it might be? It sounds sounds more better than talking about Sorry. the third and the the fourth and the twentieth letter in the alphabet. See, Gosh, when I look that, it up, Yankees it, first five under four and a half. Gosh, yeah, hell yeah! Hey, look at that! Somebody coming in supporting. The pimp himself uh, with the nine ninety nine dono pimp slap army. Oh, that's, a burner account. that's a burner account. That's a burner account. That's my no burner account, man. That oh yeah, what? it's Cameron, Send man. That's my guy, yourself. Cameron Smith. Man. He's on the regular. He watches <laughs> Last Call. I'm like you, fuck mm, that's guys. His burner account. <laughs> Why do you always say that? Know. I go and check it out every day. That's one of his. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's my favorite. That should be the staple across the uh, across the board for PSR with a dono. I love it. Good shit. Love it too. You know, uh, so there is this thing called Google. So I decided to Google where 420 meeting came from. <laughs> yeah, let's hear it. Uh, some claimed it as a police code for marijuana possession or that it derived from Bob Dylan's rainy day women's number 12 and 35 with its refrain of everybody must get stoned. I'm pretty sure so, I didn't nowhere on there. Moment. It does it <laughs> mention the alphabet. Yeah. Did you hear his explanation for what it meant? Yeah, I heard it. I was like, got dude, what? Well, at least being the educator that he is, he's going to fact check that. Yeah, I was like, well, that doesn't sound right at all. <laughs> well, damn. I don't have a burner account, Dutch. What the fuck? If that was Shout out Cashville reeking up in the house there. That's Dutch's. That's Dutch's, Dutch's burner, burner account, account right damn, there. Damn, don't have a Dutch. account. Of course. Yeah, man. Shout out to Cashville. Dutch, Run that shit. Run that shit. You can't shout yourself out. That's well, the first I'm not rule T. I'm trying. I'm looking. <laughs> Hold on. I got to find it every time. Come rich, bitch. Man. Hey, you know what's the number one question I would ask someone that hit the lottery? I would ask. Did you pick the numbers or was it a quick pick? Great, great question. Great question. I'll tell you what. I was doing some research back when it was like $2 billion, and they were saying the guys that win it are the ones that pick the numbers. So uh, that's a yeah. great question. I'd be curious. I would love to ask numbers. someone that, did, that hit that shit for real. Because that's like a feeling that everybody wants to feel. Because they don't know what they would do once that happens. Like, you don't know what you would do. You say you would, but you don't know what you would do. Like for real. I know when I used to take it off work of, for a year and golfing <laughs> as much as I, know, I can. I know when I I know when I quick pick, I end up with numbers like 23, 26, and 27 all on the same fucking ticket. I got five numbers and three of them are bullshit. Do you points. buy lottery tickets? When it's two billion dollars, <laughs> I do. You're not gonna win if you don't try. No, I ain't gonna lie. When it gets that high too, I do uh, too. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I, I, I mean, make a stop when it gets that high. But, yeah, when you get buy a lot, you get what you get a yeah, ticket too. Yeah, all you need is one. If I start really? picking numbers, no, then I'll get a couple. Damn, what Donovan Mitchell doing, bro? <clears throat> Busted up my under. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard for Orlando to score in the paint, bro. Oh, it is. They're used to scoring in the paint yeah. in Cleveland. What the hell is was that? There what was did you? I've just seen that. Yeah, Nathan, 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 N
Nathan Cerna says, my lotto ticket's my 18 parlay, LOL. Uh, Fuck yeah, I put an eight-leg yeah. parlay in almost down the daily. You don't think I'm going to stop off at the convenience store when it's a fucking $2 billion jackpot? Fuck yeah. Quick pick at two if I'm in a rush. I don't care. You know what? Can't today win if you're in not race in. Car... Can't win if you're not in. You know what today in race car have in common, Mike? Fuck you. You know I know what it is. <laughs> They're both Askabobs or whatever you called it. What Brewers is it? up to zero already. It's a pound. Come on, teach a conundrum. Who hit that? Because I'm on Contreras. Say Who the, the word. Pound again, drum. Fucking, it's what a the pound fuck? Drum. Can I not have this word? It's... Pound drum? A palindrome? Palindrome. There it is. Did you know oh, that today? Yeah, I understand today that my... today is, is a palindrome. I don't know. Every time you said it, all I heard was Pajo Doe. I'm pretty know. sure all the way up until the 29th is going to be a palindrome. Wait, what? And we got it, boys. The, the first the 29th is what I'm hearing. They're all pounder yeah. grill or some shit. The That's what I'm first... saying. I couldn't understand. It. It's better than it's better than what he's. It's better than what he's usually saying. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? All right. Pounder girl. All right. It's a pounder Mute girl. Yeah. Mute we yourselves the, while the adults talk. Here, button, guys. Mike. You got a cash. We got that Mike first team. half under 106. Cash oh, damn, for that, that first thick. half. The first half NBA unders roll six and one, baby. Let's go. Let go. Okay, Here we cash the Cavs minus seven and a half live first half. Let go. <laughs> we got a bump. We gotta have a button around here somewhere. Let's find this motherfucker. We're cashing it. We got something. Our show's not live, Mike. That's why we don't have like a cash it button in here, if that makes sense. Wait, it is live. You know what I meant. It's not live during the games. I'm like, wait, what the fuck are you talking about? You know what I mean? Like, there, it's not. The bets are after the show. Oh, yeah. It's not lit. Well, hit the it's show no lit. button then. Let's go. Yeah, no, hold on. I'll get no something button. for you. The donation button is, is fire. Hi, I'm with the Port Commission. Yeah. I'm an athlete's foot fan. Pimp slap them bookies. Let's go, Mike. Mm -hmm. Learn, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Shout out to you, Ick. Let's get this cash, my guy. First halves. We're running and gunning, baby. Let's get it done. Thanks to everybody out there who hopefully you tailed me. All right. Yeah. And um, to what touch on what Troy drinking? was saying, um, it it's it's definitely seeming like you just watch that first quarter. They're gonna they're gonna be scoring more in that first quarter, and then if you can get the uh, the if you like the under pregame live, you're gonna get a better number and bet it right somewhere in the first quarter. And then uh, also though, he said my guy Icky did the right thing, took a worse line than was available pre-flop. Well, that's called live betting, my friend. And that would be like taking the Cavs to win the second quarter, whatever. However you want to look at it. We cash that shit, though, because this is what we do. Shout out to Troy. Yeah, man. <clears throat> uh, damn, shout out to Nathan Sermon in the building. Mark Schillenberg in the building. Good to see you, my man. Robert oh, Martin. Martin. Robert Martin dropping this play, uh, the score there. Good to see you, my man. It was a nice looking first half there by the Cavaliers. Honestly, pretty much exactly like I expected. Uh, a little frustrated that I didn't have that first half. Uh, but I got the full game. Yonder, so baby. It's going right where we're going. You know, it's going right where we're going. Shout out to the pimp on the under and it dropping that live play. Hope we all paid the fuck attention because that was uh, as soon as he dropped it, they went on a like 7 0 run. So it was lovely. Very good. And we're also on Allen. Uh... Jared Allen to be the top rebounder. He has eight right now at half. The next highest guy would be uh, Wagner with four. Um, and that was plus 130. I just thought that was a sh uh, kind of a sharp play. It's something I would definitely keep my eyes on the whole series. Uh, and, and I would bet that the whole series, honestly. Depending on, I mean, next game it could only be even money. You know, but so I'll take the plus 130 spot if it cashes. Good. Let's go. Same game parlay update, boys. We got the under 106 in the first half. Check that box off. Donovan Mitchell over four and a half assists. He's sitting at three. Franz Wagner, 18 plus points. He's sitting at eight right now. And then we got the Cavs on the money line. That's an eight to one -er 
Gave it out there pregame, you guys. Hopefully you tailed it. We're still in play with that first half under being alive. Let's go. Oh, yeah. For sure. Shout out to Fat Wally in the building. Good to see oh, you, yeah, Fat man. Wally. I like to see who gets the membership, too, but I don't. Yeah, I don't think it yeah, shows yeah, up on this end, Cam. I don't know for some reason. Oh, so I could see it on here though. And the like, if I'm on my Dabby, and like YouTube, you can see it, right? Yeah, yeah Robert yeah. Martin got it. So shout out to our guy Robert Martin, and shout right. out to Fat Wally, man. It's good to see you again down at Pub Three, uh, Fat yeah. Wally. Hope we get to do it again next year. And also appreciate the membership, man. That shit means the world. Shout out to Fat Wally. Is this another one of Mike's burners account? Dutch, um, you don't want to see. I'll tell you what, Dutch, you don't want to see that. That's from account. Twitch. When the burner account gets rolling. You're in full effect. You are. It's a fucking Twitch hate crime when the burner account rolls out there. You don't want to be a part of that. Shout out to Jacqueline in the building. Good to see you, young lady. Uh, shout out to Real Deal Prime. I'll see you, my dude. And Robert Martin, you are now a motherfucking member. Compliments of Fat Wally. Good to see you. Well, let's take a peek, boys. What do we got? Some prop bets here, second half opportunities. What are we looking at here? I'm looking for the Cavaliers to continue to do what the fuck they've been doing, and that's win this basketball game by double digits, Pam. Yes, I like that, Dutch. I like that, my guy. Hey, we got uh, we got a guest rolling in here for the special 420 show, boys. Let's bring them on. How about that? No, we're building. Here we go with the database here, the guru coming in there, building it from scratch. He said, fuck everybody else's data. I'm going to build it from scratch. Shout out to him. The due diligence that goes into it. The market efficiency author, Troy Torrance. What's up, boys? How y'all doing? Well, Troy. Yeah, I'm man. I'm just uh, oh. cracking my third drink of the day. I already smoked a joint in the morning. Now I'm smoking on this little pen right here, this little cart. Got like 20 of them because you can't smoke in the house no more with the, with the newborn. So, uh. Oh, congrats. I get it done, though. Hey, rules. hey so I, love, hey, I love, love seeing everybody right now. Game. Passion. I think, what, what? The stream's like 3-0 and already through the first half. Ick, you hit. Mike, I know you hit the under. I think everyone's on the damn Cavs, if I am if I don't stand corrected. So uh, let's fucking go, man. Cavs and under for me. And uh, it's a fucking great start to the 420. Hell yeah, right, man. Cheers. Cheers. Glad to have you up here. Cheers to everybody on 420. Yo, I'm rich. Cheers. I, Glasses I, I up. Yeah, I'll have another drink with you, but I'm gonna take a shot if I'm having a drink. Ooh. Just I'm a little. Sure. Sure. Oh, hey, this is this is my first drink since San Antonio. That's gonna sober you up. That's that's gonna sober you up. What do you mean? Tequila goes great with weed. It's, yeah, tequila but it's makes you dads close yeah, to I agree. Boss, I agree. That's, that's what I'm drinking. I'm drinking this uh, Ray Azul tequila <laughs> soda. Bro, I don't like this prickly pear fucking tequila thing. It's yucky. Boys, oh, that one's, there's no that reason one's not. One. There's vodka ones that I think you would like better. The high I mean, vodka fucking drinking I think it's tequila. Tequila. Take a shot of tequila. Yeah, that one's tequila. Okay. Oh, yeah, no. Why am I the only one that gets First off, what's wrong with fucking tequila? No, Nothing. But the high noon more, are I drink more tequila than you. So then why are you hating? I'm not hating. I'm just I'm just stating this fucking. Well, I guess. You jealous. But, it's eleven. Yeah, I guess I think maybe that's the thing. I got I got shit to do. It's eleven. Thing. Maybe that's what it is. I just I got to nothing be. to do on this four twenty, man. I don't Cheers. want the seltzer, but I want the fucking bottle of tequila. All right, look what I'm drinking. You know, this is what I'm drinking. You know, this fucking gay ass shit. <laughs> well, this is this is a. I hope uh, I hope this I, is with everyone in the chat. If you're in there, yeah, you can take a drink. Cheers. I got to clock in at fucking three thirty, man. So I can't. I'm. You know, it is what it is. I don't. I don't either. I'm gonna keep my black ass right here and watch all these damn games today. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll be watching the games, but not I'm really, be not really how I want to be. I'll be real, you know. I've been oh, waiting yeah. for this all week, bro. I've been waiting for this day all week, bro. I'm ex. I want. I, I guess you did it when I had to do something, Mike. I know we got till five. Can I bet the Dallas Stars? Do they even play today? Yes. When can I bet them? No, tomorrow though. They play tomorrow. I bet on him, Mike. Yeah, yeah, Dallas is a good bet. Yeah, First you can bet on them to win the Stanley Cup. You can just put really? a small bet on them to win the whole thing. I don't know about so that. Troy, I don't know no, about that. the whole thing, Mike. Yes, Before these can. guys start talking about hockey for fucking two hours, 
Uh, I'm, what, I'm Excuse me. We, actually, we have we have we have good ass. We played the Bills on the NHL Dutch. You don't watch last yeah, night. I will say though, the way Mike's been hitting on the NHL, you can fuck around and pay for it. car payment and a house. And I do want to, I, I know when you said <laughs> units, when you said sixty units, I'm like, he doesn't ever talk about his units. So I'm like, well, damn. No, I think he's up like forty eight. Units, I'll right? My Three unit right here on this fucking stream, Dutch. No, you got a little, you got a little <laughs> unit. He doesn't usually like to talk about his units, but you know, I, I guess he's up sixty percent on the ice, which he is a hockey guy, so it makes fucking sense. But we'll get to that because I do want to know what the fuck you're on on some ice tonight. But uh Troy, you, we got a, we got a big game here. Our boy Billy I'm came sure through and tried to kill the vibe with, and Bede is not going to play today. And Bede is not going to play today. <laughs> A lot, I mean, if you're, you might, the number I see you getting is going to a four out there some places. He is question four. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Damn. I, I, was, uh, I was commenting in the chat. I was kind of agreeing with Briz thinking that, you know, maybe he don't go today or if he does, it's limited. Because uh, that number, I mean, it just seems. That's what I was thinking. Dude, he can't like, be hurt and play 40 strong. minutes in the Miami game. Like, yeah, bro, the that's numbers, not a good The number is kind of going off of what Billy's saying, to be quite honest. When yeah, I and in game oh, one, yeah. and, and if you watch that play, and he obviously wasn't 100%. He fucking, you know, um, I don't know, man. He just seems so fucking frail to me. And uh, I know. How can you be that frail that big, right? Like, I what know. the fuck? I know. And it, there's, they have so much, like, I wanted to bet them to win the, win the East, but, I mean, he just – don't inspire confidence in terms of staying healthy. But I will say this, bro. When I'm looking at the data, I pulled all the games from round one and the play-ins from last year after getting my ass whooped yesterday. I went 0-2, got fucking crushed, so I basically fucking just locked in. Um, made all these entries. Home favorites, short home favorites are 7-2 and two when you're getting a lot of cash on that home favorite on the money line, right? When you get 60% or more of the money line cash, on the home favorite, on a on a two possession home favorite, seven and two ATS, seven and two straight up, and the margins are huge, man. And you can see it right here; it's happening in this, uh, you know, it's unfolding in this first game before us with the with the Cavs Magic database says take the Cavs it shows all these fucking massive results with all this cash on the Cavs too. If you go check the money line cash flow, and if you and it's just like there's so much parity between this playoffs and last playoffs because you go back to last year. Um, the over under and home road win trends in the playing game. It's so like, for example, the first two playing games, they both went under. The second two went over. And then the last two went under. The same exact fucking um, sequence that happened last year. The same goes for the home team and the road team, whoever won that game. It's fucking insane. I don't understand why it is. Magical unicorn fairy dust. So, like, what the fuck is happening? Uh, but it's basically unfolding the same fucking way. And um, it would say take the under and take the Knicks. So I'm on that. And um, I don't know, man. And then I was talking in the chat. The one thing I really wanted to drop that I fucking, you know, I, I've had a lot of losses with betting, betting my team live plus points after being down at half. For example, the Bulls yesterday, I took them plus eight and a half. And just thinking about how these lines are shaded and watching how the, the live lines were being offered for this first game. You can just tell, man, if you're taking a team plus the points that's down a significant amount that's getting beat at that point, um, and you could see it, you could witness who's, you know, who's kind of fucking imposing their will. Uh, I, I just don't think it's a smart bet to take plus points. You know, the books are taking all their money. Everyone wants to take the plus the points, and everyone wants to bet the overs live. And all the people that want to go the other way or would go the other way are limited probably severely. I just that's think that, like, Live betting, like like Icky did. Icky did it in the first half with the Cavs. You could have got what, you know, minus two and a half or three pre-flop first half. He took a minus seven and a half, and he cashed it comfortably. Like I think that's a good example of what I'm talking about. And um, I've been tracking a little bit. I don't got enough yet to talk about it specifically, but shit. Live betting the teams that are fucking laying points and live betting unders seem to be a good route. Yeah, big, um, big. In, in the playoff, it doesn't seem like uh, taking the plus points when it starts to get uh, – the li that line starts getting bigger. It doesn't seem to be cashing, you know. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. Through a regular season, maybe, you know, but this is different. And and that was the through the playing games that I was watching that. But, um, 
yeah, you're on to something there for sure. Now, I do um, agree with you on that, though, Troy. Like, the live – like, don't even look at the live betting market because that shit will make you end up losing money because the, the way they shaded these some of these lines in these last couple of days in the NBA, it's, it's kind of bullshit. Like, uh, I think it was like the Pelicans game. They were down by, like, 20-plus points, but there was only, like, plus – six and a half plus seven and a half it was just like all right you're telling me they're gonna come back and then yesterday i end up betting chicago plus 20 and a half uh in the fourth quarter missed it by a hook like they already know right 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 now how are we gonna have an edge against you know like we how are we gonna have an edge against these books live um it's just fucking like you just have to i feel like they're shading these like they know where the action's coming in they shade them the line appropriately and like I feel like there's a huge edge to be had. Mike M, do you live bet a lot? I don't hear you talking about. Uh, uh, well, I mean, I guess I know you live bet a lot. Live bet a lot. Mike will end up triple tapping something, fucking in about thirty seconds, and be like, "Oh, I think I took the wrong line." Uh, I remember the NCAA for the game first half money line. The Giants, the Giants in the regular the NFL. I remember. I'll I'll pull the trigger real quick on something that I don't Five, think I like the way I screw it off four. the gate, but uh, but I'll tell you what though I uh I, I'm not against Five, jumping four, in. Three. Let's go! Shout out to Horses? Ash, Ash, baby. Horses? <laughs> yeah, yeah man. We got, we got a number there, there too. The five at thirteen to one, the four at nine to one, and the three the favorite. Cash the exacta, cash the try. Let's fucking go. Then 425. Yeah, nice man. Work. Good shit. There you go. Real quick, uh, our boy Cashville Recon, he did donate $20 and asked a question, so we better get to it. Um, he asked me how I felt about the Timberwolves Suns game. We've heard a little bit about that game. Um, it's a tough basketball game. I want to have confidence in the Suns. I do. But as Zick said, and I believe LJ said as well, you get, they're just hard to trust, man. I've had my moments with them, but I've also <laughs> had my moments where I've been very, very upset with that basketball team. Because I do think KD and Devin Booker, I mean, it shouldn't – offensively with those two out there, it should not be that hard, especially when you got a season like Grayson Allen just put up. His numbers are pretty fucking insane. Our boy Mikey touched on that. And then you got Bradley Bill. Hey, I don't know. I think, I, uh, I think he might – you know, he's the issue here. So if I think if Bradley could really just, you know, mm-hmm. get, you, get you some consistent points, assistant rebounds. Play good numbers, which we're talking what, like 16, 6, and 5, something like that. We don't need 25 from the guy, but it needs to be efficient. Efficient, you know. He has to play efficient. If he can play that, you know, I, I would look for Phoenix in this game, but I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna I wanna see it. Towns is back. They have the size advantage down low. Um, you know, and obviously Ant Man is pretty fucking nice. So we'll see. I, I do think Minnesota kind of fell off towards the end. Was that because no towns? I don't know, but I Phoenix is a very hard team to trust. I want to take them in this series because I do think Minnesota is a little overvalued. Um, but I can't get to the window with it. Troy, how I do you feel? I will say, though, that? Dutch, it seems like some of those younger teams that were in the top of the West kind of got fatigued later on in the season. We kind of saw the same exact thing with Oklahoma City and shit like that. Uh, Maybe, maybe sometimes with the 82 game seasons, the veterans are kind of more like we know when to turn it on and off. The young kids just go hard the whole entire time and then they start trailing off um it would be interesting to see how the home court advantage plays for minnesota because i remember last year in the play-in tournament i bet fucking oklahoma city against minnesota and say what you want about minnesota but the they, they, the home atmosphere was they were, yeah, they were at the crib yeah i remember and they're a better team than they were last year too now miles reed goes back to the bench it'll be pretty big for him uh are you looking at are you are you looking at anything in that game billy um, I'm actually, I, I hate to say it, I hate betting on like chalk players, but I'm really eyeing up this, um, Anthony Edwards points and assists prop. I mean, Anthony Edwards last year in the playoffs, it was like night and day difference from his playoff stats to his uh, regular season stats. You, I, I, uh, how many minutes did he, uh, Wait, he, really he, really was, it, he was just really good in the playoffs last year, Anthony Edwards. Yeah, he averaged like 30 something points yeah. in that Denver series. Like, 
and the point and assist prop is only 30 and a half. Like, I think he can get that in points alone. So I got to really eye it up. I kind of like the Carolina Hurricane game, though, a little bit more. So I might just chill off on that one. So what I like about Ant-Man is he has that, like, I don't give a fuck attitude, you know, like, but when it's the playoffs and people press, guys like to shine because we know the talent isn't a question, right? So that I don't give a, like, he's just going to go out there. It's just going to be another game to him. So expect him to uh, to shine like he has so far in the playoffs. So, um, and we've seen the opposite of, of some of these big time guys. So, very very interesting series for me. I think game one, I lean Minnesota to be quite honest with you for the series. I lean Phoenix, but I gotta see it. You know, I've that's spot Phoenix. on, bro. That's spot on. Minnesota game I've, one, but I lean Phoenix the series. I've seen yeah. Phoenix go to Denver and play really and win two big basketball games after, and one was really really impressive. You know, in overtime. So. Um, I know that they can beat anyone in the league. If they can put it together and play some consistent basketball, I do think they can get out of this series. But tonight, I think it's Minnesota, but I don't think I'm going to the window with it. Um, Troy, you got any action on this basketball game? So I don't have action right now. I definitely want to have some action. I kind of agree with both you guys right now. My gut, like my gut, my I want to take the Timberwolves in the spot, uh, but I can't because the line functionality. Like, you know, Phoenix has dominated this this series, right? Um, and and, and talk, I'm going to talk about a couple things here. Phoenix has dominated this series all season long, and they come out, they just beat Phoenix, they just beat this Timberwolves team on the road as plus, you know, two and a half point favorites. Uh, they dominated that game. They won by 19, and now they're two point favorites. I mean, it's a half of a point move. I feel like it wasn't a strong enough move for the Suns like it was for this the Cavs game, it was a four point discrepancy, you know, between the last game they played in the season and the playoff game. The line had, you know, it was a huge difference. Um, and then you look at the cash flow and like the market itself. And like I said, the, when the when the cash was on the home team, so basically when you had big, sharp action on the home team, um, the home team cashed. And the same goes for the road team. When that money was on the road team, especially with the shorter one, two possession spread. They cashed. They got the job done. So it's like there's – I got, you know, points for both sides. I want to bet the Timberwolves in game one, and then I'd be looking to play Phoenix right after, you know, pretty much right away. But the only thing that scares me in that series is sometimes I feel like as uh, sports bettors, especially when it's the NBA playoffs, we end up – gambling on game one when we can really just sit back and watch and the real big edges are really in games two and three. Yeah, but even in game one, this – in game one, though, the, what I was talking about earlier, when all this cash was on one side and the market was moving their way, they fucked – like the Knicks the, or the the Cavs, the market was moving their way. They're looking like they're going to get it done. I got to turn it back on now. Yeah, I'm right there with you in Cleveland. That was the only uh, – Yeah, play well, I normally really too – what I've noticed is when a team wins the first two quarters and then we're going to the third quarter there, the other team that has lost, as long as it's two competitive teams, normally wins the third quarter. The third so quarter. And then the magic are up the other way. Two right now. This could be the magic quarter where they make the game a little interesting again. And uh, we'll see. So you're but saying I don't, I don't know, I bet I on the magic result. in the third quarter. Yeah, I mean that I like would that. be your that would be your like halftime look is how I would look at it in that scenario. In any one of these games, let's say the Nuggets smack up the first half, you know, beat them first quarter, second quarter, the Lakers third quarter should yeah. be a play. And, and the, the books and one, the, show you that too. And when you're betting individual quarters. That on the schniz, usually when the team is down going into the third quarter, it's like a yin and a yang between, like, if they do come back, then the over third quarter might hit as well. Like, I remember right. uh, on the Tuesday stream, I was scared to bet the third quarter spread, but I ended up betting the over and over when it was like a cigar. Right. Hey, so that exacta, I, I had a $2 exacta, $1 try. The one dollar exacta paid one hundred four fifty two, and the fifty cent try was one thirty three. So that's two sixty six and two hundred eight. Let's fucking go! Love the ponies, and we're staying off this next race because it's chalky as fuck. 
That's good <laughs> shit. I got well, a it's a big, big show. It's a big, I big show tonight. I know it's, it's 20 the building. You spark them up. But I got to give a cheers out here for everybody in the chat, everybody on the panel. Ain't no better day than a motherfucking Saturday. Man. Yay, yay. So good. Salute to that. Shout out to the I big show. Billy big Bill 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 He's fancy as fuck with it. <laughs> yeah, that look kind of yeah, look kind of nice over there. Look kind of nice. That look like oh, that yeah. look like out of grandma's crystal cabinet. I come uh, from a family of drinkers, man. We got like 50 of these bitches in the fucking upstairs. <laughs> Shout Those out to ones uh, with the pinky out. The pinky has to be out. Right. <laughs> pinky must be out. Shout out to John K John Johnny K with the happy 420 to y'all. Happy 420 to you as well. We appreciate you vibing out. <clears throat> Marquel in the building. Good to see you, my dude. Joshua in the building. Uh, Silent Bob asking if we have anything on the boxing. Man, I ain't going to lie, man. That shit is hilarious to me. I, I think I, – I don't know that – I know this guy, Garcia, is ridiculously like plus 600 now, right? I wish I had it too to show, but this motherfucker chugged a beer on his way in and is three pounds <laughs> overweight. And then owes Haney $1.5 because it was a $500,000 per pound if he's overweight. So this, this shit is just ridiculous, man. And if you My see question Haney, is this, though, Dutch. When's the last time Devin Haney did knocked out somebody? That's what I'm saying. He hasn't knocked out nobody in four, out his last four fights. Man. It's he been over no a decade. Power. But he has no power. What is, what, is this? What, is the, what is the odds on this, Billy? I, I really, because I can see this happening. Is there odds out on this? Mike, Mike can't even tell. Just, you know, for Ryan, to Ryan Garcia to get disqualified. I think he does some dumb shit in the <laughs> ring. I'm calling it now. This motherfucker is going to try to pull like a Mike Tyson type of weird shit. Like bite his ear, bite it, lick it. Do some weird shit to get disqualified in this fight. No, he's going to do the Dylan Davis and start doing the grappling in the middle of getting his ass beat. Start singing like shit. Or like kick him or something. You know? Like kick his ass. Go street fight mode on him. That's what I see happening in this fight. If not, I think Haney just boxes him for fucking, you know, a decision. Honestly. Because he don't got no power, like Billy was just alluding to. Bro, how are you, like, a top-tier boxer, and you haven't knocked out somebody since 2017? Like, bro, that's crazy to me. Yeah, I seen that. I was like, damn. But Garcia's on one, man. He's fucking – he's on one for sure. <laughs> that chugging the beer and then weighing in three pounds over, and him – it costs a $1.5 million, and, like, you're just not thinking straight. Quits if he's not doing well, says Mark Schillingberg. Yeah, th- yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. I, I gotta, I gotta hit up Danny and ask him. Uh, I know Danny was pretty heavily on the uh, decision prop, which I do agree with. But with boxing, yeah. it's such a unique sport that you could bet the fucking round props as like a hedge, and it'll be like plus six hundred or more. Struce. Now Orlando's making a run here, fifty-five, fifty. Phila in the chat says no fouls being called here. Are they letting Orlando be aggressive? Now Cleveland went cold from shooting wise. They, yeah, they look kind of bare ball. How do you air ball a fucking ball all over the place? Need a good position yeah, here, go. here where you just there. slow it down. Orlando. Orlando just can't knock down an open shot though. Like, come on, man. One thing that I like to see from the Cavaliers, it seems like they're trying to really separate the minutes of Donovan Mitchell and uh Darius Garland both being on the floor at the same exact time. Ooh. Mike yeah. and I got a treat yeah. for everyone. That is true. Good, good call out there. Mike needs to get a something for his ribeye, like a graphic for the ribeye up here. We need it. But Mike's gonna do the ribeye, and then we're gonna put uh, the ribeye and the Seeger prop together that I got today, and it's gonna be good money. It's gonna be plus money, big time. We're gonna cash it. Nice. I'm oh, gonna yeah. definitely play it. Oh, you got a ribeye, huh? We got some. No we got some. Yeah, I'll tell you, boys. Up really big on a, on a horse <laughs> on a horse race. So yeah. let's fucking go. We're going to roll with it. I'll tell you, boys, the, the last week has been um, something else. Box, we got guys getting designated, hitted. It's a, it's an interesting spot. But nonetheless, we're going to go to Philadelphia. We're going to pick on this Sorokin scumbag here. And we're going to yeah. go with a little Trey Turner action in this Philly spot there. Philly should beat these boys up. And even if somehow they yeah. don't. We got this guy hitting the two old Trey Turner. Uh, you know, you look back at kind of who's got the experience when it comes to playing against these pitchers. 
And Trey Turner, in fact, does. Being in the two-hole, I don't normally go in that spot when it comes to batting rotation. But nonetheless, he's plus 135. The books are showing he's getting in there. He's driving a run in. And it might very well be the bottom of that Phillies rotation that gets it done. So plus 135. I'm going Trey Turner to get the job done here against this White Sox and Soroka. And he's got a 13 at bats against Soroka. Plenty of opportunity to get the job done. 308. Let's get that cash. I bet you, I'll bet you he drives in Bryson's stock, but we'll see what happens. Nonetheless, plus 135. Let's go. Okay. So are you going to bet the parlay with me? Because it's a couple of two hole hitters. I'm on Seeger um, over one and a half bases, and it's at plus 102. Um, so when you put them together, hold on. Let me see here, and I'll figure out what it is. Because I got to get my bet in. Have you well, put it together yet, Mike? Not yeah, it's plus 370. Enough. It was plus, plus 370. 370. Yep. There you go. Are you betting it also? Sure. Yeah, I just bet it. Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah. That's how I know yeah, it's 370. What'd you say? What's your thoughts on Seeger? Last time you got me on Seeger, I fucking cashed in the first inning. So I'm listening. And the ribeye okay. cashed too that day. Today's a tough spot. And I before anybody in the chat says it, I'll be the first one to say there, he's not done anything against Charlie Morton. He's got uh 12 play appearances and he's only got yeah. one hit. So he's hitting a homer point. though. He went, yeah, he, he fucking there you go. Right. Yeah. 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 But I, I just want to for everybody who's you know looking at that number, he could go three for four today, and then all of a sudden he's hitting 300 off of it. It's a very it's a, it's still a small sample size. Um yeah, you pitchers tend to get the blow quick. Do what? No, I was fucking with you. Go ahead. I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah. You t you pitchers tend to blow it quick. You know, like something good. Yeah. Gonna... Okay, oh, boo! Hey, boo! Go ahead. Go ahead. You want to hear? You wanted to hear it again, oh, big bad. guy. Get off your knees, Dutch. <laughs> you're blowing the game. Uh, come on, big guy. Garland assist. All right. Anyways, I'm on Seager's prop here. You know, Valdi's on the mound. Um, that's that. You know, that's your ace with the Rangers, and this is big time game here. Braves, Rangers. Um, I'm a lot more excited about today than I was yesterday. I think. Uh, I think the Braves are. Uh, Ooh, no. Braves, Carol. My bad. Oh, right. sorry. No, you're good. I think the Braves are. You know, going to still be able to find a way to score a little of, off of Valdi, but I also have the Rangers team total. Uh, I took it at four at minus one twenty. So I'm on the team total over with the Rangers, and then Seager over one and a half bases. But then we're going to do that parlay together. Uh, Turner and Seeger. I'm getting plus 368, but basically the same thing. So 370 for Mike. Uh, Sir. Turner Turner over on RBIs over half, and then Seeger over one and a half bases. I'm going to throw hey, Cap. on this. Cap, you know, to uh, add to your point on Seeger, uh, this year right now he's hitting 148 against the breaking ball. Uh, and last cool. year the breaking ball was the best pitch that he hit. He hit it at 349 for a 572 slug. Uh, so you have to expect that there's going to be that positive regression back to the mean because there's no way that he's all of a sudden a 148 hitter against the curveball. And you know Morton is going to see those numbers and he's going to attack them with the curve. If Seeger's able to adjust and go back to what he's usually doing, you're probably going to get some kind of barrel action today at some point. I would imagine he hits barrel. So I don't hate that at all. Yeah, for sure. I love it because, man, I'll tell you what, too. I had Seeger's the last time I didn't cash on it. Fucking uh, Perez took it out of the right field. Fucking it was a home run. In the fucking right fielder. I mean, he it, he didn't even make an amazing play. It was an easy play. But still, if he doesn't catch it, the ball goes over the fence. Yeah, that was, that was frustrating as shit. Well, and if you're taking the Trey Turner, you could probably oh, yeah. also do the Philly right. team total over because, I mean, I took the first five at two and a half. Uh, I just paid a little bit of juice on it, but it's still one of those things. Like, when you look at Soroka, he has just been god-awful. I mean, he, I think he uh, – like, you see in baseball savant, like, they go hot for, you know, they're really good at what they're doing, or blue, they're really bad. I've never seen a blue so blue on in my entire time of research on baseball savant when they showed uh, Mike Soroka and his numbers and his stat cast numbers. It was just awful. So I, I do like the Phillies, and they're getting hot right now. Uh, that series against, uh, I want to say it was Colorado, uh, definitely gave them a little bit of confidence. And you can see that they're having better at bats. They're attacking early. So I definitely like the Phillies uh, team total over two and a half for the first five. I put a little more statistics in the chat. Oh, yeah. That's a good nice. breakdown. 
That is a really good breakdown. Yeah, Moose, uh, Moose breaks down baseball quite well, T. So, so Moose, um, so would you ever think about laying the run line? I know even a minus two line here. Uh, I don't really do the run line unless it's kind of like just a uh, a part of building a minus one. I know Jimmy does that a lot, the minus ones. Uh, yeah. So that's Ooh. I kind of created my own minus one uh, where I'll put maybe like 55% on the money line and then or like 10% or 15% on the run line to try to build it some way, shape, or form. You know, mess around with it to kind of get the number the way you want it. Uh, but I will focus on getting the money line because teams don't give a shit. If it's the bo- if, uh, top of the ninth, like if they just need to give up the one run to get the win, they're going to give that up every single time. So I, I don't right, like right, doing right. run lines. Teams up two, they'll give a run up and then they'll bring in their, their closer yeah. or something yeah. along those lines. LJ, are you 100%. watching this shit, man? Banchero is nice, man. He's so fucking nice. I think you muted, bro. But yeah, you seen this shit, Ick? Yeah, he's, oh, yeah. he's only going to get better, too. Like uh, Edwards, better than like he reminds me of. He does kind of remind me of a of a young LBJ. I mean, he led the team in the PRA. Obviously, not the um, like the. I mean, he. I know he can jump, but he ain't jumping like LeBron. But yeah, he got the body type. He he he's got that. He's got that kind of raw game. Yeah, he sacrificed a little. LeBron had a god awful like the nest, you know. Yeah, he's no, he's no, he's nowhere near the point guard talent that LeBron is. But he, you could tell that he sees the game. But LeBron, LeBron has like, LeBron's got like one of the best. He's literally Magic fucking Johnson, guys. Like, he's I, yeah, so the IQ, guard. dude. He exposed the Pelicans' defense. Exposed it, bro. Two games in a row. Yeah, he had seventeen in fucking one of those. Thirteen assists to one half. <laughs> Pelicans defense is fucking long and lanky. They look they look, they're even better though without on the defensive end without Zion. Uh that's my team. Like I really like, I'm just surprised at what I seen yesterday. I actually had to turn it off because I was frustrated as hell. Because I backed the team <laughs> in the bulls that I fucking talked about fading the entire season. Oh, you were on the Kings? I was on the Kings too. Well, I thought you liked yeah. the Pelicans. You just didn't I like know. Them. I know I fucking I like the Pelicans too. Yeah, I thought you had the Pelicans beating the fucking Thunder. I know, but I had, I had, I had got stuck in some numbers about the three point shot and the three point like efficiency with Zion in and Zion off the floor. And I was like, well, the Kings defend the arc, defend the perimeter well. They run guys, they could run them off the three. But I don't know. I made a fucking narrative up and <laughs> ended up on the goddamn Kings. <laughs> I don't blame you though, Troy. Uh, somebody was, I was with one of the homies yesterday. They're asking oh, me, What do you got in the NBA tonight? I said, Absolutely fucking nothing. But if these games are sketchy, why am I going to bet the NBA on a Friday night if the games start at one o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow? <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, 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 as I mentioned, I stayed off both games. I liked both. I like both home teams. I, felt I, like- went, I would do. I would have went Chicago and I would have went Sacramento. That's what I was yeah, like. I, mean, I don't think you would have been on the other side, Dutch. I would have been Sacramento. Yeah, I, I, I would have been off last night because I've been running kind of bad. That Philly, that Philly game pissed me the fuck off. Honestly, I had them it's minus true. four, laid a little juice, got it in early, and they they win by one. Like I, that shit just pissed me the fuck off. But one of um, those, one of those pay to play type of spots where you got to pay up. Oh my god, that. no! You must have been. I was pissed. I had a three and a half. I had a boost, so I bought a point. I bought a point. I was with you, Dutch. And then you know, if you had a four, like we had the four, essentially, they mm-hmm. give if you have a four flat like you did, and they had that foul on the inbound, and they hit the free throw. To put Tyler Hero board. fucking up the cover, yeah. like Tyler, yeah, that would have pissed. What is this three going to really do? Yeah, me? I'm just like that shit. Like I honestly was like, I'm not even betting today. I was like, I'm, I'm taking the play off. Like, I was so mad, bro, and I was still salty from the Warriors. Like I, I couldn't believe the Warriors just did that. Yeah, the exactly. Warriors like, fucked up. Fucked that up shit wasn't game. even. Like, I had like, losing is losing, side. but when you're down double digits from the start of the game, and you just know you gave away, you know, and it's a bigger play than you know, you're like, I'm all excited, like finally NBA is ready. I could put a little more extra money on. Hell no, you ain't motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, if we have to quit, I'm gonna get it right back. And I, still, I put fifty dollars on the. I put fifty dollars on them when they're plus one ninety five because I was like, I still feel like. They, but still though, like I, I was, I was being a pussy. I should have bet at least a hundred on it. Nah, Dutch, I can't agree with you anymore. It was like, bang, first two you to play with everybody else in the fucking world. It gets ripped off. This is like, 
public money doesn't mean as much in the NBA playoffs because there's such a short amount of games. But man, that one was a uh, heart burner. And I did what kind of like what Troy did, uh, but I just stayed off um, last night. What he did with the Kings and Pelicans game, I did with the Lakers and Pelicans. You know, I was like, I'm on the Lakers. I'm on the Lakers. Then I came up with some fucking narrative that, oh, the Lakers want to lose. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> you know? And I was just like, oh, oh no, nah, but I don't want to. I, I was like, nah, but I don't trust the Pelicans. So I just fucking pussy the Low key, up. though, Dutch, that was a package Lakers. deal. That was a package deal bet. If the Warriors won, that meant the Warriors and Lakers are going to play on Friday night. But after mm-hmm. the after the uh, fucking Pelicans end up blowing that game, that was like a cash out of every fucking Warrior bet possible. This shit ain't right. No, yeah, you kind of knew what's coming. Yeah. So <laughs> that, 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 the playing games have been really frustrating to me to where, as in, I just took last night off. But we're having a good start to this. We got the Cavs here. Uh, give it, give up for Orlando though. Van Charles one hell of a player. They get a, they get a, they get another guy. Now I think this dude, you know, Franz is Franz, nice. Franz is he's nice. nice. He's nice, but they need one. They need another guy. I don't think they probably need an elite point guard, which is hard to come by. Don't get me, don't get it wrong. But I don't know, Cole Anthony or Jalen, you know, <laughs> sub or. Next. Yeah, I like Suggs, but I mean, he's like he's more like a could be like a Caruso that could score a little bit more. Now, you know? Trey Young could be a guy that could say, "Hey, I'll be the third best player on a team." He could be nice in Orlando, but I don't nah, know if he has got to go out Trey, west. Man. If you're Trey, Trey, go out west. Be a third yeah, option. I think go to LA and maybe be ADs oh. and LeBron sidekick. You know. Or no, go to San Antonio. Trey, Trey, Trey comes off the bench. Trey comes off the bench on my team, bro. Dude, now oh, you're what? not going to do that. He He's has not to do that, but he would be a elite bench player. But think about it though, because he he I don't think he has the mental capacity to be like, okay, I'm a second or third option. You know, no, like, he would, like maybe Jamal Wemby. Crawford. What's up? He would if he played with Wemby. He oh, needs no a big. He needs a big as a first option, yeah. not another yeah. guard. If he has a I big as a first option, he right. would. I, I feel like he so, would. Yeah, you know, he, 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 Good point, Trey. Really, really good shit, bro. When do you deserve somebody better than Trey Young? I'm just being real. You know? <laughs> so anybody on panel or in the chat want to roll up another one? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I want to smoke on one. Yeah, I want to give a what shout out to all the fucking homies that, you know, ain't here no more that we used to smoke with and all that. You know, much love to them. It's fucking snowing in All the OG. Yeah, okay. yeah there's some weird weather shit out there still, man. I'll burn with you, Gab. April oh, the yeah. 20th. Colorado, just, dude. There was 20th. snow in Colorado, and they're trying to get a game in today. Oh, what what's the thoughts on Denver repeating? Anybody have any fucking thoughts on that? They go to Western Conference Finals, but I don't think they will win the championship this year. My guess on Jamal Murray's health, man. He, he's hobbling <laughs> with that team. So if he can't, if he falls, I don't know if they could be able to overcome that. Yeah, I wouldn't want a future bet on Denver with not yeah. knowing if Jamal Murray can. I like, I think it'll be good for the Lakers series because he had some rest. But you know, as that as that series goes on, and then they go to the second and third, like they got lucky. They swept every fucking team last year, where the Lakers series was really the only competitive series. If his knee isn't hundred percent throughout the playoff, Denver might slip up against somebody in the Western Conference Finals. Like, let them play Dallas, or let them play Los Angeles Clippers, or. Like some shit like that, like a team that can really match up with them. Yeah, no, I no, the Clippers injured well, too, so I ain't worried about no Clippers. Yeah, the Clippers. Mm-hmm. Wait, didn't they lose to the Mavs, LJ? Yes, of course. Lucas owns the Clippers. <laughs> there we go. I seen that price. The price on that series got out of whack, man. Like it, it flew towards Dallas. It was like minus one ten, and then I look back again, it's minus one forty five. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, it's because Kawhi's beat up, you know, and that's why yeah. I feel. Confident with Dallas, but I think we should do something though. And I, I know, uh, Pimp, and um, I'm gonna have to get up out of here in a minute. I just took my fucking woke as fuck, and I gotta get a good lift in before I work out. My body's gonna start twitching and knees and shit. <laughs> so, um, but uh, I did want to mention this, and I know Davy Cab would be down. But if, if Dallas gets maybe we should do they get to the Western Conference finals, but. Definitely, maybe even if they get past these Clippers, maybe we'll do Western Conference Finals, see how it lines up. But if they do, I think we should all meet up in Dallas 
for a fucking game, a weekend. What? That would be fucking yeah. dope. Of course I'm down, but I'm already here. That would be a there. LJ is the biggest book liability, though, in the Western Conference is uh, the Dallas Mavericks to go to the Western Conference final, oh. NBA finals tickets. That, that's that got to be a big liability future bet for those sports books. I mean, They're obviously tickets. I'm down, but I'm here. So that's like, that's easy for me to do it. You guys would have to get here. Yo, I don't I think, 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 Dallas to win think about think about that category though of futures, Billy. So I was thinking about the liability with future bets, uh, because everyone's betting them all year and even pre-flop before the season begins. I feel like that category, like, is just an afterthought. You know, that's why I think the Celtics win though, is because if the I Celtics know, win the championship, the books lose no money basically. Shout out! I don't to know. I just hope that school. fucking uh, we got a 15 point basketball game though in Cleveland, so they took that punch in the mouth and punched them right the fuck back. Um, I think this is going to be a good start to the fucking day here. It's been so far here. Everyone who's given out a bet is cash so far. It's been a beautiful thing on a 420. The flower yes, has been definitely taking care of us today. What do you uh, What are you smoking on over there with them diamonds? I know it's your six or seven joint. What are you smoking on, Debbie? Care? <laughs> uh, Damn, that's uh, you know he's high. <laughs> oh man! Oh, really? No, how many? How many? No, no, you're, no, you're lying. Somebody hit the crickets. No. <laughs> I heard the the How Someone long will he go, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> <laughs> you're hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got the crickets going, though? That's a great sound effect. <laughs> oh, man. You like that? <laughs> My crickets on point. Oh, there's, oh, there's, there's we didn't hear that there's last part. We didn't hear that last part. There's a Monday clip. Wait, what? <laughs> nah, Dabby, bro. Yeah, you're really good. Dabby, you're really good. <laughs> How long have I been muted? <laughs> oh, the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. Probably about 90 seconds to a minute. What's the last thing you heard me say? Nothing. I heard you talk for an hour. What's the funny? muted. <laughs> when I Doug said, no, wait, spoke. how many was it again? <laughs> and then you just had that grin on your face. That was great. <laughs> Well, Dutch acted like he was answering me. I said, "This is like my eighth <laughs> joint today." Yeah, D Dutch was on point with that. Dutch, Dutch had it on. He put the line at sixty-seven joints. Dude, he had the cadences that Dutch <laughs> used were like perfect. Like he gave him a time to answer and like ask the next question at that appropriate time. Oh, yeah, he was watching the you know he, he was watching to see. <laughs> hey, I got a um, question. Can we all agree that Arby's is one of the disgusting fast foods of all time? <laughs> no, LJ, I will yeah. disagree with you on that. Recently, what? I, was Decca, I was in Decca in high school. Decca is a uh, type of program where, uh, you know, you can get better college opportunities by doing this little fucking thing or whatever. And the paper that I got assigned was a 60 page paper about fucking Arby's. And <laughs> I know way too much about that fucking company. They have the best meats. No, they didn't. Yeah, what do you order? Maybe they're back then. The worst. They're disgusting. Uh, Arby's no has they have meats, good meat. Chicken sliders from Arby's fire. Curly no. fries from Arby's Stop. fire. Well, Curly uh, fries. You're going to get that there by yourself. If you ever would eat, you eat there by yourself. You go to Arby's, right? We're you go to Arby's. And you order the thing that they push, which is that like roast beef shit. <laughs> that shit is the most disgusting thing in the world. It's so bad. Like, if you go to They're Arby's and you order something, like my boy you just said, or if you order uh, that the market fresh sandwiches, it's it's bank ass meat. Like it's good quality meat. No. So I mean, if you order that, I think you're good. But if you mm -hmm. order that shit that everybody, oh, you gotta go to Ar that shit is, I won't even. You can't pay me to eat that meat. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I don't know if that's what you had, LJ. That's what but I'm talking other about. Shit, <laughs> the other shit is good, and it's it's like the curly hey, fries. Are fire. Shout out to Arby's and shout out to Silent Rob. Wow! God damn, you know we're yeah. high if we're talking about fucking Arby's. Jesus Christ! Hey, I just want to know how he says like the worst that commercial. But I don't blame LJ though, bro. He lives oh, yeah. in Texas, bro. I I would say Waterburger 
Shouts to mm. Jeff, man. Jeff put me on water burger. Yeah, the worst fast food by far is Taco Bell. I ain't gonna lie. No, yes, no. what do you mean? No, you guys have some Give me a crunch wrap. up here. No, Taco Bell is the worst, is the worst fast food. That quality, like, will fuck you up, bro. Hey, I, you I, love it going in, but you hate it coming out. Is it exactly out like you're like, oh man, this shit's so fire. Yeah, and then you're like, wait, what the fuck happened? I'm like, yeah. I'm it's, like I like I live next to you. <laughs> Talk about I think the worst yeah. is just like Sonic, bro. Sonic's trash. Unless you get in the ice cream, bro. Don't. Oh hell yeah! Cream. Now Sonic probably yeah. is competitive with, but their desserts and their drinks. Their desserts are fire. <laughs> they'll take a, they'll, they are, You forgot to put them above Taco Bell just because of all them fucking desserts they got. Plus, they Slush. come out on the roller blades and Let's shit. Be honest. On, when man. we're eating this shit, you're fucking plastered anyways. Yeah, 99%. Yeah, no, 99%. Not like you're going home preparing a nice meal for you yourself. Not like, hey, October. I, I would. I'd rather go home and cook than eat at Arby's, bro. I could be starving. Well, I would go home. Oh, Arby's chicken sandwich right, well, is mean, though, dude. Don't do that to Arby's. Well, Don't do that, that to Arby's. This motherfucker a mozzarella stick <laughs> chicken sandwich is mean, bro. Yeah, the real problem is what's on your way home because that's what you're getting. Yeah, water burger, Taco Bell. Water burger, so yeah, fine. Yeah. Good open. point. Yeah, you're right. I got a Del Taco. I got a Del Taco right next to my car. Yep. So Del Taco's on the thing. menu a lot, right? Bro, so I'm Del not Taco's even like, if I'm hungry, it's like I, have, I got. It's got to be Del Taco, and, I, and yeah. that shit I don't like. But it's better than Taco Bell. Like the quality this is of real for twenty Taco, Bell. Bell. dude. My <laughs> fattest years of my life uh, were. Dude, yeah. when I had a, house, a place that lived like right off of a Taco Bell, a Carl's Jr., a Jack in the Box, like bro, I'm getting their 99 cent tacos any day of the week. Give me those Jack dude, in the those Box. Those were fucked. Those nasty ass Jack in the Box. Yeah. 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 They're they like were. a fucking. I didn't even so enjoy it. Fuck is that, bro? I, you gotta be kidding me though. When I was like fucking 16 or 17 years old, and I could go spend three bucks and get six of those. Yeah. Well, yeah. we're not 16 or 17 years old anymore. We're grown men. <laughs> we don't eat fucking no shit. fast food no more. You hey, guys Jeremy are talking about a bunch of places that serve <laughs> dog asshole. Hey, I'm not eating no fuck. Hey, those Jack in the Crack tacos, that meat was not. I don't think that was real meat in there. Oh, and you think Taco <laughs> oh. Bell is? I don't know. No, I don't meat. think it is either. That's why real meat. Arby's is? There is real meat in Taco Bell. It just happens to be the rat variety. So, you know. I'm taking I'm Jack in the crack. I'm taking Jack in the crack over Taco Bell. Just put that, just put that Taco Bell seasoning on. It's all good to me. Let's yeah. go. If I go to Jack yeah, in the crack, I'm not getting tacos. I'm getting me a sourdough. McDonald's. Yeah. See, Andrew, McDonald's is the number one fast food by a wide margin. Chick Fil A is up there, but that, but the, but the price tag of Chick Fil A is kind of like if if you ain't going by yourself and you got people with you and you got like <laughs> three or four, I mean, must take that ass. That's kind of low key, like. Hey, Chick Fil A, I'm with you, bro. I'm with you, LJ. I need two challenges. Chick Fil A's on Friday. I'm hungry. I'll come out there. You get one of them lemonades. That'll fill you up. Hey, I'm gonna tell you right now, the best fast food joint because it's got to be in and out because of the value. You know what I mean? Like fries. Yeah, this is gonna divide the chat. I'm telling you right now. No, I never get the fries there. Whatever reason. In and out tastes like dog shit. Yeah, I, I don't know why this <laughs> divides people. I, I don't know how you can say that. It's in good. Out, it's good. Out, in and out good is amazing. Value like you pay like me and the wifey can eat there for fifteen bucks, but the fries are bullshit. I agree. You know what in and out tastes it's like? And, and I swear to God, it like the first bite I took, and I, I almost couldn't take a second one, but I did, and I thought the same fucking thing. It tastes like the shitty ass hamburger that they gave you on the lunch line in fucking middle school. That's what oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, no, that's disrespectful. Literally yeah, water identical. burger. The, you get a medium drink, and it's about a fucking 36 ounce. I'm not a huge size. water burger guy either. <laughs> water burger. That water burger water guy burger. when we were in San Antonio. Yeah, oh, you were. You're like, we gotta go to water guy. burger. I never once said that real, to you. Bro. I don't even have a that water salts burger. Salts are real. Yeah, you did. We passed that shit in San Antonio, right on the corner. Yeah, like, you got to go. Man, I'm gonna go at a restaurant before I go eat at a fast food like that. Let's go to IHOP. I'll go to IHOP for food. Bucky's got some good food inside. If you get no, the, uh, the food inside, Holy shit. 
Yeah, Shout them man. out, our Big guys, man. Sean Higgs, baby. $170 dono. That's a real one right there. He says, food dog. Hit that motherfucker one. Shout out, Two, Sean. Two, three, make it even four times. Four. God damn it. Hell yeah, Big Z, baby. God damn. Yo, I can't help but to hit this. Because we didn't create this one. It just came out of nowhere. I think T did it. <laughs> what was that? Uh, some, I don't know. It's Gabby's calf way of trying to kill a good thing with Sean Hayes. You know? Yeah, I didn't shout out that. our guy. What up, Jimmy? That's big business big boys. Shout out Sean Higgs, and we have crossed over the 100 like mark, boys. Let's raise the glasses to Sean Higgs. Let's put him in the air there. Our guy with the big dono here on 420. Hope everyone's cashing with us. We're getting that money. Let's get after it. Cheers up, beers down, as my guy. Yeah, yeah. Cool, man. You like, slow it up, man. What's your question? A minute. I'm rich. Right, I'm Bitch. about to fight up out of here, though. Oh, what up, Connor? What up, what up, baby? Yeah. Look at him, man. Oh. Let's go. Send him the fucking link. What's he doing? Get up in here, man. What up, what up? Dodge, you dipping? Yeah, I'm out of here, man. I don't know. Shit, as soon as you hit the scene. But I was about to say it for you. It's good to see you, C Mac. I would love to hear you on the NBA. Let them know. I know you're doing really well there. So good to see you, my man. Salute to everyone. Joining the panel today is, is a beautiful thing, seeing everyone. Ick, good to see you, my man. It's been a minute on the have you on the panel. Uh, Moose, good to see you too, my man. Teaching yeah, them kids, yeah. doing wonders out there in, in Diego. LJ, as always, the Elite. pimp, as always. Billy Briz, good to see you, my man. Thank you for getting up early for us, my guy. Uh, and Dabby, <laughs> as always, my guy, it's good to see you. Medicaid Mondays is the place to motherfucking be. We'll be breaking bread and hitting over the head. Believe it. Check us out. Check us out. Happy 420 to all the real ones in the chat. And we'll vibe out on Monday. Y'all stay fresh. Love, OG. Stay on. He goes. Jeez. Damn, bro. You just stuck on his head like that? Ooh. <laughs> Coral took a nasty uh, elbow to the face. Man, like straight up. Yeah, I like the No Way Jose thing too, Sean. Uh, shout out to you again, oh, man. Great. I appreciate you. Yo, I don't mean to go him. back. You got to hang with him, Gab. Dude, he's the man. Me, him and I had some good conversations. But I got to say this. I don't mean to go back to the food talk. I know that's super stoner. But he hit it on the head, bro. Culver's has the best fast food burger out there. Like for a fast Culver's? food burger. Yo, Culver's is bomb for it fast just food. Really, yeah, it's kind of pricey. But if you go there, you're getting, oh, uh, man. You're getting a milk. Well, ain't one around. It's like in the country. <laughs> Bro, I feel like you shouldn't you shouldn't walk away from your fast food order and it's over 40 to 50 bucks. And at that point, bro, you must take that ass to the restaurant, bro. <laughs> right? No, I'd go to the grocery store, honestly. Bro. Seriously, you can yeah, family that. for like fucking five days off of one of these orders while we're all drunk and stoned and only eat like a couple bites of everything. We got another guest. No. That is 100% not That's 100 not me. No. I was a lot skinnier. I'm leaving. What the fuck was that? I just clicked the random video. and that. That was beaming. I knew that was beaming. This was always hitting the wrong fucking thing. I love you, my man. What the fuck? This has a name with him, man. Billy's going to be off. He's going to be off. What? Ford walking AC at some place. This is under the glory hall. This is under your old banner. This is under the fucking whatever the banner is for the session show on Monday. Oh, yeah. I don't know what fucking bitch you guys have for Monday. What the fuck? I, I that I, wait. What's the other one? Cheddar Bob. I, I think those clips were not to be shown, 
And but now they're, they're out. That's why I think they were doing it in that folder <laughs> from T. <tea. laughs> the real life cheddar bomb. Yeah. You gotta love Get it. Get him out. <laughs> no ditty. Oh, that, was that Plaxico? <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna hit the gas. Plus 420 and plus five and a half in the fourth. I just oh, cashed my numbers over eight. <laughs> Bro, I have to fucking eyes. We're let's getting get, a magical number here. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a smoker, but I eat like I'm a pothead. I'll tell you that. Let's go. Culver's. Mm. Break it down, yeah. That listen, I was like, what the hell's Culver's? They opened one down over by me here, and. Listen, it's not f- like it's fast food, but it's f- it's fresher fast food. That stuff it takes a minute to make. It's made to order. The butter burger, the, it's ridiculous, ridiculous. What's the price? There's nothing yeah, close. The well, what burger? If you're, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not putting Culver's in the Whataburger burger McDonald's kind of spot because it's not. It's it's a different kind Steak of burger. Shake was kind of like that, Sean. Who, who steak and shake? Yeah, it was kind of like Culver's where you. You know, you order it. It was just more of a fast food version. Culver's, you go there for like the old school dining experience. Yeah. Like what a diner used to be when you go get a burger that's, back in the day. That's what they say, Culver's. But I don't get that. I mean, it's it's set up like a fast food joint. Like if you're, if you're telling right. me it's like Freddy's, like Freddy's State Burgers would give you that Freddy's. diner kind of feel to it. But it, again, even though it's with their derelict shoestring fries, I do not like shoestring fries. Terrible. Um, They're not very good there. No offense. I mean, people, and their burgers are right. What a burger! And I tell you, when I got down here, I'm like, oh, what a burger! I'll never go to McDonald's or Burger King or any of those joints again for a burger like that because it is better. It's like like the lettuce is fresh. It's 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 a what better burger. Is good man. This is where I spend my time. Raising canes. Oh, my chicken is oh man! Get Listen. this. So I just so my son had to get new. He broke the glasses <laughs> broke on him. He sat him for two years, so he had to go get new glasses. So we head over to the little eyeglass joint. Then he was going to get a haircut. There was like an hour wait at Sports Clip. So he said, screw that. Let's go to Kane's. Two Kaniac combos. What do you think for two Kaniac combos? And 20, two 30, extra sauces. 35 sauce. bucks. 35 bucks. 39 For 12 yep. pieces of chicken. God yeah, get damn. Fuck out of here. That couldn't be me. Holy cow, bro. Their sauce was- is good, but. Mm-hmm. So Walmart, Walmart's got a Fugazi imposter sauce now. Of chicken sauce. It's called chicken sauce and it's raisin cane sauce. Just so you know. <laughs> For those of you who don't have a raisin canes, the sauce is the boss. Yo, so, uh, For those of you that don't have a raisin canes, you're not missing anything. Trust oh, me. Get the hell out of here, Mike. This Yo, guy. listen though. <laughs> hey, so I gotta tell this story. We're driving to the the what the it's hell just, is that? It's place? just nugget. Yeah, I mean it's just races. tenders. Yeah, but they're good tenders. It's a real chicken. They are good. I can't believe the there's store. a franchise that only sells tenders. Uh, that's a well, that means they're story, good at it. You're part of it. <laughs> that's okay, on the kids' of... menu. So we're driving to the horse race track, right? And fucking it's Razor, Mike, who was it, Nate, and me and you, Mike. That's everybody in the car. Yeah. And we're trying to figure out where we're going to go to eat. And all these guys had never eaten there. And they're all like, oh, we got to go there. We got to go there. I had no input on the decision. Like, I was like, yeah, if that's where you guys want to go, that's fine. I had so little input on it that I walked across the street and got a sub sandwich and let them eat there, right? I don't know. Like, like, don't get me wrong. I don't have a problem with raising canes. I like it. It's fine. But then Mike fucking later on in the trip starts talking about how the food in San Antonio is really not that good. The food in Texas isn't that good. He's like, you went to raising canes, bro. What were you expecting? You should have went to a barbecue joint. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why I said the food is no good. Let me, let me clarify that. You could have went, you could have went to like a, a, a a spring Uh, Creek or some uh, chain barbecue. I said, if there's a franchise chicken finger place that can survive in San Antonio, the food can't be that good. That's exactly and then he starts what I talking said. about. <laughs> come, hey, hey, and then he goes, "Come to Buffalo. We're the home of the chicken wing or the chicken finger oh, or some." Fuck you! I said he, something about the, eating fucking good. As you said, the franchise is based on chicken fingers. Listen, you get chicken finger sandwich over there, whatever. Yeah. It's something different, right? How many burger places are we? Could run them all down, right? There's In and Out. There's Water Burger. There's Shake Shack, McDonald's, Burger King, Jack in the Crack. We could go on and on and on to go get burgers. How many chicken places are you? Got Chick Fil A, which is their sandwich is pretty good. But if you want a little something different, try it. My Chick Fil A is right next to the Razor Canes. They're across from each other. Yeah. You pull into I'm, you pull into I'm the strip mall. There's a I'm road. Put a bullet to my head. 
and they're on oh, either side of each other. That. Not only they're on either side of each other, <laughs> inside the same strip mall, you got a um a Burger oh, King, a Sonic, a Popeyes, a um McDonald's is across the street. There's a Wendy's a yeah, quarter mile McDonald's. up the road. There's a Panda Express, a Spring Creek, uh, a Swig soda joint, a Jersey Mike's, and a Firehouse Subs. All in the same I Jersey Texas Mike's probably really overrated. <laughs> Texas is okay. Put everything you need in one spot. Everywhere. You don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> Bro. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't have Jersey Mike's till I came down here. And I, nah, Jersey Mike's is highly overrated. Ate that it's, shit. It's oh, better than like Firehouse. Nah, yeah, Jersey Firehouse. Mike's is, is like Billy, you're an AC, bro. You should, there's no way in hell you should even go to Jersey Mike. You should be you should be spray painting <laughs> that and, and, and right? burning that place to the if you're at Rowan University, Jersey Mike's and Jimmy John's were like two Jimmy of Jones. these. Uh, Jimmy Jack. Why would you eat that crap in New Jersey? Because when they would deliver a sandwich. And sandwich points. You're they a would college deliver. student. You eat what's all right, on all your right. meal. I, hold on. Let me answer that. Jimmy John's would deliver a sandwich at 2 a.m. Like in when I was in college. No, yes, you're right. That shit. Okay. That's the whole <laughs> of being I'm not, you go to I, Wawa. I, I, that's, why, that's when we ate Jimmy John's. So yeah, I like, never went to yeah. college. I never got food delivered. Right, yeah. so my thing is, if I'm in Jersey, I'm not going to one of those joints for a sandwich when I could go up to the oh, corner store man. to get one. Or I go to Wawa Italian before Italian. I went to Jersey Mike's. I agree with Mike on that. Yeah, well, let me tell you, Wawa, Wawa does a decent job. Wawa is like a, better than a solid C plus sandwich. C plus B minus. Yeah. <laughs> I miss the Wawa cheese filled pretzel. Oh, I, I like the sourdough pretzels. Uh, I'm a big sourdough. Person. Oh, that's all they got down there. These people don't know how to do bread down here. Bunch of wackos down here. Everything's sourdough. Like sourdough tortillas, for Christ's sakes. Like, come on, it's a sourdough. And make some that's why I do a big show on that. Jersey Mike's is like mini fucking subs. It's just like, mini why subs. am I getting three fourths of a sub? Where's the other end to this? Like, what the fuck? You I've had the Jersey bucks. Mike's um, chicken cheesesteak. The chicken cheesesteak's pretty good. It's all right. I go, there's a Charlie's. Actually, there's a Charlie's now cheesesteaks inside where the Jersey Mike's and the. Is that place um, good? I see it, but I've never eaten there. Yeah, I used to get that in Jersey. I hit the okay. mall. Like Menlo Mall would have the uh, place. I, you know, I like chicken cheesesteaks. Pretty good. Somebody put Quiznos. Remember the little sock puppets, or that crazy ass commercial they had, like Run for the Hills with their little sock things? Bro, Quiznos was actually kind of. Quiznos. Kind of shit. Yeah. Quiz is like, hey, let's be Subway. In let's be Subway and Blimpies, but we'll just toast our Blimpies. rolls. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blimpies. I forgot about Blimpies. Blimpies. Oh, Cavs, win this fourth quarter. My dad's plus 420. I'm 420. Let's do it. Little this. Caesars. I haven't had that in ages. Oh, yeah. Is anybody here old enough to remember when Pizza Hut had all you could eat pizza? Yeah, no. they still do. Some of them still do around here. Yeah, Mike. I get it every Friday. <laughs> so, still do. Because I see Cece's has an all you could eat pizza. I couldn't do all you could eat pizza unless it's thin crust, because then I'd have like 20 of them. Yo, Cece's is terrible. Are we still although talking about food? Yo, I gotta eat if we're gonna keep talking about all this food. Although with pizza, I can't eat I can't eat eight slices. I can only eat four slices, so I gotta have the pie cut in fours. I can't eat eight slices. What? Hey, you just have to eat the right have the pie cut in four. You get it? Yeah, I see what he did. Yeah, there. I see it. I see how baked yeah, everybody's in the chat to, to catch up on that. Good. Yeah. It's cut in four yeah. instead of eight. Nobody, uh, only two people caught it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's everybody Kenny? on today? What's going on here with basketball? What do you guys got going on? Kenny Kansas needs three more points for uh, three points and three assists for Mitchell. But NHL's coming up, man. I like the Hurricane in regulation at minus one thirty. I like the under in this game. Five and a half. Don't be mad when the Hurricane put up four. <laughs> really? I think the Hurricanes win on the puck line, to be honest with you. I think this is a spot where Islanders get caught fucking. Boys are playing now. It's important. It matters. And Carolina is just a more physical fucking team, in my opinion. But minus one and a half is plus 115. That seems about the right number for that Carolina team to win by two goals. You know they're going to pull the goalie if they're down in the third period. Yes. I expect them to be down. Huh. Uh, big Show. I keep thinking, thinking about when we were sitting in. So Big Show and me ate some mushrooms, right? And we were at Southtown 101. And uh, we were sitting there. And he ordered, like, the burger, the, like, the big-ass burger from the Southtown. 
And some things happen, you know, the mushrooms start kicking in. We start laughing at some shit. And it, the laughing gets uncontrollable to the point where like I can't breathe. And I think that I'm like going to die from laughter. And Big Show's got tears running down his face because he's laughing so hard. And he looks at me, he says, bro, I can't eat. And it's the best thing that I do. Or it's like the thing that I'm best at. And I can't eat right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sitting there just losing it. And then Nate's sitting beside me. And fuck this guy, Kevin. I, if he's there, fuck Kevin. You, if he hears this, fuck you, Kevin. He's a weirdo. And he walks up to fucking <laughs> Nate. And he like grabs him on the chest or grabs him on the shoulder. And Nate looks at me. He goes, man, this dude keeps grabbing my titty and I want him to stop. <laughs> Bro, I swear to God, I thought I was going to die of laughter. Anyways, who's Kevin? Kevin who's Kevin? I don't know. I don't know. Was the guy that He's like a guy that like runs the bar there in Southtown. Now, Kevin, I will, I will say this. Kevin is one of the most humble people but that dude's a fucking weirdo man <laughs> you can't tell me right. that dude is a weirdo when the, when the dark when when they come oh, dark no, time he turns into a weirdo with me. but he I'll, will give I'll you everything fuck the fuck up well the freaks you know, come out at night being weird with me off rip his wife is hot though his wife is smoking hot though the freaks come out at night hey, Dabby, you're muted Dabby, you're muted God damn, Dev. Shit. Fuck you, Moose. He has a wife? I thought for his sure that was hot. His wife and the daughter is both hot. But <laughs> I hey, thought that's for sure he's got the inside that, that you just played. Kevin don't work that's there. That's no got more. the inside that says Kevin don't work there no more. Y'all don't live here. He no get fired. More. I mean, that was that was a month ago. How's he not worked there anymore? What happened? <laughs> Probably grab long him. overdue. Like, grabs, come on. Long overdue, though. I would see back. Long overdue. That dude should have been. Fired fucking years ago because he owed the property, and that was the only reason why he was really there. <laughs> like he keeps he keeps grabbing my titties and I want him to stop. Too bad he missed out on a good burger because you guys are so much baked. Burgers are good. Front door. Yeah, oh, yeah. that guy's fucking I dirty laundry down there. <laughs> it was fucking great. <laughs> that dude's a weirdo though. You can't tell me that dude wasn't a weirdo though. Bro, he can't. all I wanted to do when I was on those shrooms at Southtown was smoke some oh, weed. Oh, Jalen Suggs looks like he, he heard asked me like, I don't know who you're like, talking about, smoke. but I immediately don't like him. I was like, I was like, listen, Kevin, all I want to do right gone, now is Mike. smoke weed, and I'm not going outside yeah. to smoke with you. Apparently, I don't want to sound like the guy, but Mexican <laughs> dude, he always wears the white T-shirt. He always has the high boots and shit like that. Um, I don't. None of the bartenders really like him, but. <laughs> Oh, I look like I got. I got to stay more than a day because I didn't even catch a name of any cat working there besides Jose. Oh, you oh, got to get it. You know. That's titties in Southtown, baby. <laughs> Who Jose? No, Roxy, the uh, one part that are best. No, clearly, in was, they were nasty Nates. All right. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Don't you fucking get mad at me, Nate. I had nothing to do with it. Nate no, always gets mad at me. with your story. At least it's Kevin my thought story. So. <laughs> yeah, at least Kevin thought so. <laughs> Just rounding well, it all back day. around. I went down there and they the said, balls, Kevin tall. introduced me and said, hey, this is my wife and daughter. I, had, I was like, whoa. <laughs> and there was one girl standing there? He could be a swinger for all you yeah, right? Know. That should have been a clue. Was there so This is my girl? wife and daughter. There was, there was a 17-year-old boy there. Well, you know, it was crazy though. Right after that, some naked lady walked up to the bar and uh, she was like some crackhead and she was like just butt ass naked. She walks from the street into the bar and sits down at the chair, and everybody started freaking the fuck out. And uh, Kevin's wife just was actually got her out of there. I want to know who came over and sniffed it after she sat down. Who is that? Who is that degenerate? Who did yeah, that? you might have sniffed and got a yeast infection. Oh, gross. That's what I'm saying. Who's who's who's, you know, who's whacked sniffing. out of their mind to come over and and lick it, lick the chair, lick the bar stool? Oh, gross. I will say I though, Jeff, I have anybody's, anybody's mind that was there. <laughs> Billy, was that this past year? Wow. When did you get into town, Billy? Uh, I went the year that talking about a couple years ago. Uh, all right, I, uh, I thought it was yeah, just was the past first of a Palooza. I and thought it was this past week. I'm like, what did I miss out? I left. No, I'll be there next year when the when the NCAA tournament's back at the uh down in San Antonio. I would definitely be there. 
Yeah, that was pub one, and me and Cab had an Airbnb, and we were uh, they like had this real nice big garage, and so they built a fucking like Airbnb on the on the second layer of it, and so you could see into the neighbor's backyard. The neighbor was this big fat lady. She had a nice pool <laughs> in her, in say her uh, backyard, and on Saturday morning, uh, I remember I was like outside smoking a cigarette or something and then cab goes hey come here you gotta check this out like once i come back in i'm like all right cool he takes me over the window <laughs> it's just like 300 pound naked lady <laughs> and we just both just start dying laughing I'm like, oh that's what you wanted to show me 300 okay. pounds though is like the average size in san antonio in my opinion but it was it ended up being that lady that Walked God. naked into the bar. <laughs> she, we what? seen her that morning. Then later that night, she showed up at the bar. That was is the she, same I mean, person. I got that video on my phone, man. That shit is wild, bro. So, are you guys on this game real quick for yeah. the tips off? Anybody? What are we on here? Suns, T Wolves. Oh, I like, Suns, I like the Wolves for the series. No. Late Steve coming in on the yeah, first half on. under. I'm with Mike. I like the first half under. I, get it. I was just on the, the cast. I want the first half under in Philly, New York. I don't know why they're giving you more points here in the first half, uh, you know, than the second, you know, a little different college, but still, I, I just think it's wrong. You get, you know, so it's 106 first half here, 106 and a half. You probably get a 107. Full games, 209, 208 and a half. I got to wait to see if Embiid's in the starting lineup. I, I generally think he might not play. He's got to play, right? He's got to play out play there. 30, 40 minutes. If you bench Embiid for this game, he plays Monday, He's then he's three Stop. days off for Thursday, Stop and it. then he plays Sunday. He's soft. Like, Stop it. It means playing. But Stop when it. has there been – I will say, T-Mac, living in the South Jersey area, there has not been a year – that Embiid's been on the team, and this isn't the same exact situation that we face with every playoff series. Oh, Embiid's yeah. hurt. Might not play game one. Embiid's hurt. Might not play game one. Like last year, we we go – we fucking smoke in the first round series, and then we play Boston. Randomly, Embiid doesn't play game one in Boston, and that was the James Harden 50-point game. He better play. I, I, it's a Wagner. I took Wagner six plus points in the fourth quarter at plus one forty, and at eight plus points at plus three twenty five. He's got six. We got the first one. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Do something, you fucking scrub. Let me check D line him. Let me hit up my girl D line him. Now, guys, real quick, I'm going to hop out of here. So it was uh, enjoyable being around all y'all. Nice seeing a lot of y'all for the first time in a long time. So I uh, appreciated it. Uh, hopefully get to oh, yeah. do a little bit more stuff during the summer when school's out. So hopefully everybody's cashing today. And best luck to everybody that still has bets out there. Later, y'all. Moose. Later, bro. Should I ask Moose what he likes in that Padre Moose. game? What's he think about the Padres Blue Jays? Do you have an opinion as a Padre guy? Did he say anything? He had a Padre shirt on. I don't know if he had a Padres bet. That's a good question. I, I... Now, it, listen, I understand if you're like a homer, you're a fan, you don't really want to get invested. You feel like if you, whenever you bet on, you know, you always get that. Whenever I bet on my team, they lose. And if I don't bet them, they win. So you kind of have to have a neutral thought. But I thought maybe he'd have some kind of insight of how they're playing at a 500 level right now. But maybe it was a spot against Barrios. Who knows? I got Arizona in the under coming up here first pitch. I, and this was – I bet them before they exploded for 17 last night, so I don't really love them now after a 17-point explosion. But why do I think that this is going to be like a 4-1-5-2 kind of game somebody wins? I can definitely see it being a 4-1-5-2 type of game. 17-1. I mean, the bullpen's actually – well, the bullpen for the Giants employed last night. Yeah. Which was, Watch out, though, with Gallon on the road. This is a classic game. Gallon it's so good. He gets lit a little bit. Oh, this my same. Uh, Gallon on the road is not the same guy at the crib. I do agree with C-Mac wholeheartedly on that. Yeah, but he's not He's not a six-run guy. And the Giant the offense is an all-guy. Yeah. I, I, I did both because at worst I'm going to split and I'll lose 15, 20 bucks. You know what I'm saying? I'm only 115, 120. I can live with that. 
I'll, if it splits, it's a 5 2 loser, so be it. I, maybe I pull out a 4 3 win. I don't see it being like a 8 4 game. So that's why I think I'm safe with a worst case splitting up. Look at this guy, tall boy, bud. Let's go. Keep it classy, Cleveland. Ick. It's all. Let go. The kids are up and at it. They're playing a little basketball in the hallway, you know, the little hoop that you can put it on the door. Man, I yeah, the so nerf hard hoop. like that. The nerf hoop. Yeah. I don't. Oh. So this Arizona line is at a 105. It, I got a 120 last night. It was 115 this morning. Now it's at a 105. Oh, my goodness. I still like Arizona. I don't care. I don't care what it's doing. Are you talking about the Diamondbacks? Yeah. I'm talking about the Coyotes. Smash. They're not playing today. Are the Coyotes playing? They're smashing, today? and they continue to smash, is my opinion, with that Arizona game. That's it. That's the end of the cap. Corbin Carroll, RBI. Why not? Fuck him. Wow, Luke Rockhold finally got the fucking finish. Oh, my God. For anybody watching Karate Combat 45 in Abu Dhabi, Luke Rockhold has just floored Joe Schilling. And uh, that's got to be Luke Rockhold's first win in, like, fucking four to five years. Five years? years? Yeah, he's been getting his ass beat. Oh, he had to go over there to beat some scrub to win. No, Karate Combat's legit, though, C-Mac. I, I no, like it's legit, one. but I just mean... Man, he's not in the UFC. I I thought people were thinking that he was live against Mike Perry and he got his shit absolutely rocked and was one and done for Bare Knuckle FC. But God bless him, though. He got paid for it. Yeah, he should after you get beat down like that. His face is Let's go, Garland. Hell yeah. Let's be now. We're, we're rolling Let's right go, here. Man. Let's go. Cleveland. Gay boy, baby. I ain't no Cleveland fan, but I am when I got my money on them. Cheers. Cleveland mm -hmm. looks like they have this wrapped up. Cleveland game one. It didn't matter what number you got. Cash. To the land, baby. To the land. To the Boys, land. I took this first half under this next game. I'll tell you what. You, you don't even have to follow me. I'm taking every first half under in this first round of the playoffs. And then we'll reevaluate the situation. Don't do it in Denver in LA. Don't do it in I'm Denver. Be I want it. I want it in Philly, New York, but I'm gonna just do it in all six. I'm one and zero today. What are the Philly New? York? I think the Sixers win this series in six or seven. Actually, somebody wins in six oh, or seven. Yeah. I, ha, why? Why the love on the Knicks here? Because it makes Knicks. no sense to me. John Everybody well, thinks Jalen Brunson's ten times better than Tyrese Maxey. Bro, I, say what you want about Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey is probably top three fastest players in the NBA. I, I said this on shows I was doing yesterday with the Knicks. They play at like a high energy kind of level defensive. They come after teams all towards the second half. Right, Randall goes down. They pl kind of play a different ball. Brunson comes on strong. But now it's the playoffs where everybody's not going to take a day off. Where you could go in and play defense and steal games. You're not going to have that here. You're not going to have that here. I think it's really reflective of the Orlando uh, – I mean, not the Orlando Cle – the Cleveland Knicks series last year. Cleveland had no playoff experience. And look at them in this one. They're smacking Orlando because they have the playoff experience. New York's got a lot of unproven guys on that team, man. I love Dante DiVincenzo, Josh Hurt, and Jalen Brunson. Those are my Nova boys. But this is big-time show, man, you know. I think they show out in the first half, but – I think the Sixers end up creeping back in and maybe a backdoor cover, but I don't know, man. It not I my like nurse. I think nurse is going to be able to take care of business here for them. Coach wise. We got to wait to see this lineup, man. The lineup should be out and maybe like in. So what is, is, I mean, and B he was out. He comes back in. He averages 30 and 10 out of the blue. Did he get hurt last game? I mean, I don't mind having well, a bad thanks. game because. It's a playoff game, and you're going to face a team that's going to come at you. We're going to throw elbows. We're going to D up. It's going to be a different game than what you just played in tune-ups for the last week. Well, so I don't mind him year, having his off game. And last year, Embiid had a 40-point game seven and sat game one at Boston. And then I think he came back games two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, like, I wouldn't be shocked if he sat, man. Like, he played 40 minutes, and he's not – he's about 80%. 
supposed to be on a 30 minute limit cap and he played 38 uh minutes against Miami. That that's not that can't be good. So he sits today and plays on Monday. Monday, and then he would have three days off because we would play Thursday and then we would play Sunday. Yeah. So ideally, from a health perspective, I think they're gonna leave it in Embiid's hands. And, and if Embiid wants to play, he'll play, but I think they want to sit him. He wouldn't be listed as questionable to like a day and a half in advance if it wasn't legit. Well, I mean, the line's up to four now. So it went from – there was open at like two and a half. Now it's four. I'm guessing he's not playing. That would just be my – I'd only like to assume because, you know, that makes an ass out of you and me. No, but I'm right there with you, Higgs. That's how I read the now, line Now too. I'm seeing four and a half. So at this point, four and a half. I'm uh, seeing fives in some places. Yeah. So I'll start to – listen – I will still think the Sixers got a shot with Maxi oh, playing, right? Yeah, Maxi's playing. Maxie. Yeah, Maxi's playing. Hey, boys, I got to get rolling here, but let's review. We in the fourth quarter there, we did have a live bet. We took the plus five and a half, and we sprinkled the plus four twenty for a half a unit. But uh, we cashed a five and a half there, and. We cash Jared Allen plus one thirty top rebounder. My man oh, yeah. had eighteen boards. The next next highest guy was eleven, and then you know it trickles on down. Let's keep an eye on that for the rest of this series. I think it. I think that's a solid number, all the way to minus one thirty. <laughs> you know, so let's get it going. That's a three in one day. For your boy Icky, and we cash big on the exacta and try. I was trying to give that out, but when you got a bunch of people on screen, you can only get so much. But uh, appreciate you guys as always. Shout out to Pub Sports Radio, Jeff Slaughter. You know what it is. Happy 420. We're trying to get that plus 420 money in the fourth, but it didn't happen. Either way, stay blessed, never stress. Let's go. Dick, tell them where they can find you. What's going on over there? And who banging? Let's go, my guy. Who banging? Sports Talk Tuesdays, the live sweat, six forty-five Eastern. You can find me, my main man, Jimmy Gomez, my other main man, Dylan Med, along with Mike and Picks from Dave, and you know many other homies from this panel, and whoever else wants to come on, come have some fun Tuesday nights. Be live sweating and betting. Much love. My guy, yeah, he does a little bit. That's a funny, that's a funny first ask. Gonna go probably under two, Mikey. Let's go, I don't blame you. Let's go, C Mac. You'll see it 110. I'm running them straight through, yeah, until I pick a couple of L's up, anyways. I got to figure out how am I playing this uh, Carolina game where this line starts getting whacked out a little bit more. Because every time Carolina I look at minus it, one I think you're a little too deep on that game, my man. I like Carolina a lot, man, in that game. I, I don't bet hockey too much, but I like Carolina yeah. at home. Carolina at home is a is Yeah, a they're very good. Um, where's, where's my stats for this one here? I mean, they're fucking nine and one in the past ten starts, with seven of those nine wins coming by at least a two goal margin. Like, I think some of the Islander success was a little bit over, over, uh, overvalued because it's the end of the season and not everybody's fucking playing as hard as they usually do. So I feel like there's, I feel like Carolina should be a minus three hundred favorite in this one. I, I get it, the Islanders might be one of the hottest teams in hockey. They're eight and two the last ten, but. I like Carolina at home. It's been a good spot that I've been riding for like the last three years. It's been money in the bank for me. Mike, bless your uh, NHL picks here for side of the raw. <laughs> oh, man. Not bad, Mike. I'm on, I'm on uh, Carolina minus one and a half. Give me the Hurricanes here. I expect them to be up. I think there's too much noise about what's going on with the Islanders. I don't like the fact that there's a coaching change and their offensive strategy has changed, but – I still think Carolina gets the job done. Give me the minus one and a half. I expect them to be up in the third period. The goalie gets pulled, and they bop one in there, win the game, probably 4-2. Uh, uh, 
14. Yeah, no, no, no. You got anything on the other game? No. Um, you know, I've been taking them game by game thus far, but I don't know. I like the Maple Leafs to win the series. Uh, I don't. I don't know that they win the first game. The first game to me. Stop is it. They might actually win the series, but I think they win the series. Right. I think Boston. Bo- this is the first game for Boston. Minus one thirty. That seems like a cheap price. That seems like a cheap opportunity for uh, the team that should win the game. I just think Toronto gets it done over the long haul. Law of average. So, here, so here's some here's some married stuff for you guys. So I go I go take a leak. My wife's throwing some stuff in the laundry, right? <laughs> so she's bent over. And I'm like, start like smacking her legs. I'm like, hey, here we go. The kids are going, my son's going to work. My daughter's going to party. So I'm like freaky later. <laughs> so she's mm-hmm. she's making noise. I'm like, oh, yeah, whatever. Right. And I turn around and walk back into my room. I catch my toes on the door frame. I think I like broke my pinky toe. She's laughing. <laughs> she's laughing outside the door going, hee hee. That's hilarious. My toe hurts. Probably lost a toenail. I don't even look at my sock. It could be a bloody sock. I could be Kurt Schilling all over again with a bloody sock because of my toenail. And smashing the toes, dude, that, that's always painful. That like sticks around for like a couple of weeks. And just yeah. Oh my god. Look at that smash. You fucked up your toe. That's it. She so can laugh all she wants. I'm gonna punish her later. <laughs> In the bathtub. You got you got like the leather chaps and like the shackles with the fucking ropes hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I need steel beams to hang from the ceiling. I'd have to be in some kind of industrial complex with big, big iron metal bars going across. A friend of mine, a friend of mine who's uh, maybe about five years older than me, they got a stripper pole in their room. I'm like, what do you tell your That's children? Wild. What do you tell your children? It's not like a luxurious house or nothing either. It's like a, <laughs> it's like a. Just a stripper pole, of like a fucking small master bedroom. Oh, we we so we we came in and uh, you weren't here before. I was telling the story. I said my son got glasses. We come back. They're having razor canes, and my daughter's going out. My son's going to work, and I was like, "Oh, I said, who knows, guys? Maybe I'll get you some twins or something when you come home. We'll get a little get mom naked to that." My son's like, "I can't even eat anymore. Take my chicken." <laughs> <laughs> he's throw up on the spot. Dude. Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna be sick. My daughter's making faces at me. Uh, All right, so you, so nobody has that really any pre flop action on Phoenix, Minnesota. No, I got a series on many. That's it. First half under. I'm first riding this under. thing the whole series, whole first half. I should have bet that shit too. What'd you get, Mike? Uh, 108 and a half, I think, was the number. Sounds yeah. about right. 109 and a half, excuse me. That yeah, point may be crucial. Four. Yeah, I'm making them. Uh, I'm about to tweet these out. I'm betting uh, Carolina in regulation, and I just moved on. Inter Miami minus the one. Messi should be back today. Uh, minus one for Inter Miami's plus 125. Um, they're playing Nashville SC. Nashville SC's one, one, two, and four on the road this season, which is pretty dog shit. And um, Inter Miami, they lot they light up a lot of fucking goals, but they score a lot of goals. And as long as Messi's on the fucking field, I want my money on Inter Miami. Inter Miami. On Inter Miami, both teams to score over two and a half. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. Usually, that's usually how I bet Inter Miami games is both teams to score over two and a half. But I actually think they win this game by one or more goals. Like if you told me the final score was four to two, I would not be shocked. Um, four to two is soccer. That's that's a high scoring game, isn't it? I'm not a big soccer. Inter Miami stack. They have they have probably the best offensive talent in the whole entire league. Uh, they have. Lionel Messi. When is when's the Lionel Messi game fucking go under? Lionel Messi, Luis Suarez, like they got a squad and they have some good homegrown prospects. Uh, I'm high on Inter Miami uh, on uh, Inter Miami. I don't like Nashville SC away from home. Uh, Nashville is usually a team in the MLS that play really good at home, but look like dog shit on the road. I'll take your word. Someone, someone told me, like, don't bet on a Miami Heat because now that Messi's in Miami, no one cares about any other sport but soccer. 
So, I mean, that that does have some merit to it. Like, not probably entirely a hot take. <laughs> it's probably the biggest draw in the city right now, though. It's probably inner Miami. Wow. How old's Messi now? Uh, probably crutch crutch form. Inter Miami's minus two ten to win. I took it minus one big show at uh plus one twenty five. So they have to win by one or more goals. They're, they want to play. The, the Timberwolves are saying we want to play one on one with KD. They're saying not not Devin Booker, not Beal. Like give us KD. They like their matchup with KD. That's what they're saying. It's I like the Car Anthony Towns matchup against them. If you're gonna stop KD, throw some size on him. No, no Diddy. Yeah. yeah. Nice pass, man. I don't know, man. I, I think uh-oh. you're muted, Debbie. <laughs> Again. I sit down and get back, and I hear no ditty is the first thing I hear. After what you played earlier, Jimmy, you t- or Jimmy, I just called. I've smoked a lot of joints, bro. You're Jimmy right now. After what you played earlier, Billy, you topped your crop top. I'm sorry, yeah. whether you knew what you were clicking or not. That I was actually interested. What the fuck the video was. Yeah, who oh, put that in there again? Because it was Mike who <laughs> sent it in, by the way. If you were wondering where that video came from, that's all Mike. I sent that to I sent that to you in private. <laughs> there are way too many dudes excited about that. Bro, he doesn't want to be on camera. You that LJ left. Bro, you clicked it, and LJ was like, well, fuck this. Time for me to go. LJ said, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I mean, what, 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 what are we talking about here? How, how does that end up being a thing? Like, <laughs> Don't ask me. Ask Mike. That's oh, can Mike. you imagine? I, I, something on YouTube. I don't know. Something on YouTube. Mike, that Mike actually filmed that. That was Mike filming. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kid at the party that you keep around just because he does stupid shit like that. I, you say anything, <laughs> he'll do it. You know what I mean? Mike gave him a ride home. I'll give you a ride home, man. You need to get home today. I got you. <laughs> you guys are fucking. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I took it on age. You need a ride home today. <laughs> how you getting home? <laughs> That's good. Cr- and it just talks about the whole way home, man. That's crazy how you can do that. How do you do that? How do you do that? <laughs> Often said that ruined my day. <laughs> oh, you guys are uh, fucked up, man. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> there you go, Mike. So, hey, anybody else bet the Diamondbacks game coming up? Everybody else think it was a trap let's with see Gallon? What, let's see what's going I took on, them. Man. I took them in the under, Deb. I got the Diamondbacks also. <laughs> I got a hard, hard one. I can't believe ball. you played that not once but twice. That's what yeah. I can't believe. I love the Diamondbacks, buddy. That's it. I have to get up out of here with this shit. It's your video, Mike. <laughs> Literally, like I filmed it at a party. That's what goes on. In- I said, hey, you guys I want chicken wings? Was no, no. All of a sudden, no. we're on what a fucking chicken wings? I got something better to put in my mouth. Check this out, fellas. <laughs> right. Hey, he said, "Was that from Jeff's bachelor party?" <laughs> Smoke Jeff said that from Vietnam. Right. That video cost one thousand dong. That's a funny one. That was that from Just Past the Party. That's a good one. <laughs> you guys, if I didn't see fun. all those cell phones, I think that was from like the nineties with that guy's crazy like tattoo he had on. That looked like a, a like a tattoo out of nineteen ninety three on his arm. Wait, Mike, I got a question for you though. Back to the hockey thing. Oh, I, I thought it was about that video. I was like, I don't have no, any comment. If they if Carolina, if, let's say in a weird scenario that game does go into overtime, is is it even possible for them to win by two goals? No. You no, it's got to be a minus one for the push, but I don't I don't expect that to be the situation. It's a plus one fourteen for a reason. Uh, you know the Islanders do like to score, but Carolina certainly is capable of playing defense. Their special teams has the edge as well, so. To me, it just comes down to a spot where I expect Carolina to be up into that third period, and then the goal pops out. They score a goal. It's 4-2 final. So I got a question. So I put a half unit on the M regulation price tag. Should I put a quarter unit on the puck line too? Because they're basically the same exact – I would need the same exact result. 
I mean, it's essentially a minus one at that point that you're playing, but you know that, I, yeah, it doesn't. That that doesn't. I think they're going to win this game by two goals. I don't think it's going to go to overtime. Not this early in the series. The Islanders on the road. They're they're playing offense now, but they first half of the season were a defensive oriented team. I still think they have that in their pedigree. So I expect Carolina to be the offensive team here to start this first game off. First, it's literally the first game. The first spot of the entire NHL playoffs, Carolina's at home. As much as them Carolina fans are probably not big hockey fans, I still expect Carolina's the better team to come I out here. Get up for the home games, bro. I, I like Car uh, Carolina. Oh, don't get me started about fucking bitch ass West Virginia. So Higgs, Higgsy, I know you don't like the database. Yes, uh, you guys brought up the Diamondbacks game, so I thought I'd, I'd check it out, see what the database is saying in that. Mike M., you got anything in that game? I like the Diamondbacks, but I haven't officially dropped anything in there yet. I think the Diamondbacks bats are just too hot, but what do you got? Let's hear it. Mm -hmm. All right, so I got – so we have the line right now that I'm looking at is plus 100 for the Giants. You see roughly the same thing? Yep. So I take the range between plus 110 and minus 110, you know, short home dog. Uh, market moving towards the, Rome, or the road team. I got it moving two cents right now towards the D-backs. Um, and I have 90% of the bets on the D-backs. So I look at when 70% or more of the money is on the D-backs, right? And I put this, this filter in. And I have an 8-2 and two spot for the home team, surprisingly enough. And uh, a 2.7 average, but that's – that's not probably not good. Like winning by 2.7 on average because there's one win by 11 here. That's kind of thrown up. But it's only 10 games, but I just find that to be very interesting. Like in this range, because the the line moved towards them, but only two yeah. two cents. Oh, that was that was the last indicator, right? I didn't say this. And the line moved less than 10 cents. Um, that was the last variable of that little sample. I don't know. I'm just bringing that up. I'm not saying because I like the Diamondbacks too, but. I'm yeah. not going to bet the Diamondbacks because of I, this. I don't. I don't love this game either. So you know, in all fairness, it's one of those spots where it's like eh, Arizona just whacked them yesterday. Sometimes the bats get cold, but I think in this case, Arizona's bats stay hot. They keep rolling. See, it's just tough. see. I'm seeing anywhere from minus one twenty, from one thirteen up to one twenties here in this game. So I see the line has come down where you're saying it's moved up to money on Arizona. Just two cents towards the D backs. I'm saying. Which but I, I you know the one book that I track, and I mean that's what that's that's what this is all that the conversation could be about. It's like what book do you track? Yeah, you know, and I changed my book based on the sport, but uh, yeah, Listen, I mean, as I, I took them last night at a minus 120, I saw it was 115 this morning. Obviously, I don't want to, I don't like that when that happens, especially when they drop a 17 run on a team. I was like, oh boy, I don't want to see 17 runs because I feel. Any kind of team gets embarrassed. I don't care what sport it is. You lose 17 to 1 in baseball. You lose 6 0 in hockey. You lose 127 to 88 in, base in basketball. You're coming back the next day and, and playing a good game. So I'm, I'm a little worried about the Arizona play there. Uh, but I went under also because I don't think the Giant offense, even after getting embarrassed, is going to come out and score seven, eight, nine runs themselves. Right. I don't know. I'm worried about my Arizona play. Like I said, I was expecting 17 runs. The lines come down five cents to a bunch of the ones I track here, book wise. I I, I stare at a couple. You know, I can't get wrapped up into the one because one. What does that mean? One, mm -hmm. they show you what they want to show you. Who knows mm -hmm. if that's even true? What they show you? That's my point of those. Because yeah, sometimes but that's the thing, and I agree, it could be completely false. Like with the cash flow, is what you're saying, Higgsy? Well, yeah. Like, yeah, no, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I want to say this because I agree with you. But at the same time, it's like I'm still tracking. Maybe if they throw yes. it off every single game, but if I take it, I mean, and it, there's correlation like I'm seeing here with an eight and two because it's a 50 50 spot until I filter by, you know, cash yeah. over 70 percent. So, so I, I was doing my show and someone's like, oh, well, the the um, the breakdown percentage of bets on a team, they were saying it was like 73 percent. Right. And they were using, I think, DK. And I was like, okay. So I went to a site that had all the breakdowns of things. And the DK breakdown was like 58%. So I'm like, how is that? It says my thing that's tracking DK says it's less than yours. How How, how do I know? Why is it? Is this one so far behind? Like, how would right. you, you know? 
So that's why I, I listen. I I don't want to get wrapped up into that. It, it's no, betting's either. legal now. There's going to be a lot of input from the public, from any kind of content creator who does stuff. Have your own opinion, and don't, don't worry about that. You can't because the public, quote unquote, is going to win a game. There's six basketball games today. You don't think the public's going to win a game today? Public just won off of Cleveland. No, that's you know the saying? thing about the MLB. The public cashes, and that's what brought me so that this is a public spot. The D backs today. And usually I see the public caching when I'm when I'm filtering around the MLB database. And I was surprised that in this case <laughs> they don't. How's how's the public doing betting the Dodgers? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right? You can't just say the public on one game. If you're gonna you have one, to look man. at the entire schedule, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Baseball, you can't do that. Like I, I, I just throw that out there. The Dodgers, the Yankees, the Braves, any any team that's yeah, well, their public has the best teams, in their though. division. That's a little different. It's going to be a juiced up line. The public's going to be all over them, and the, they're going to lose sixty some games. You can't just do that. It's basically, especially baseball, which is one hundred sixty two games. Are going to bet the the Dodgers one hundred sixty two games? Well, you'll be down a dime already, even though they're three games over five hundred. You know, you're down. You know, you. That's those are the spots. Again, you, it's like picking and choosing. You can't do that. Like I, I had the Rockies yesterday. I took them there plus one fifteen. I'm like, how the heck are the Rockies plus one fifteen? It got rained out or snow. I don't know what it could have been. A, I don't know what went on I, there. It could have been a. I like the Rockies today. How about that? It's plus I see that line at one fifteen. I got to take it. It's a. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have seven hundred bets Dang. against this year. Yeah. I got to take it. If it loses, so I don't care. I'm. I'm I'll be fine. I, my house is still gonna be here. I'll be able to have <laughs> tuna fish and mayonnaise. I'll be all right because I, I know over the long run that's gonna be a winner. You know. Yeah, and this game's the classic. It's just the spot, you know. Gallon is unbelievable. Your ace is on the mound. He's on the road. Uh, D backs have been ripping lefties. I mean, they just put up seventeen runs. Everyone's going to bet them, them, but that's why the Giants are live. I mean, that's what I was talking about earlier. I think in this game, I don't trust Harrison a ton. He's been okay, uh, but that's yeah, you know, you know that yeah. we all talk that about. Person. I think it's definitely interesting. Right, supposed to be a good rookie prospect. Supposed to be pretty good. So maybe Arizona slows down a bit, and it's a five-two game, or it's a four-one yeah. game. San Fran. Maybe Harrison comes in, and these are things with these young pitchers. You don't know what you're gonna get. Is he gonna come in and go? I mean, they're not going deep, right? Nobody goes deep in the game. So he might go five or six innings, strike out eight guys, give up a run, and there you have a game. And Gallon might give up two or three. Not a bad adding for a guy to go seven, give up three, but he could lose a game three-one. Still pitch yeah. good. His road split might not be hey, – the guy gives up three runs. You give up three runs, you should be in it. Your team's in it, you know. Yeah, and he's given some runs to these Giants. I mean, just even last year, nothing crazy. You mentioned the few starts he had yeah. even at home, but on the road, you know, he went seven and three the last one. I think it was here in July uh, when I was going through August 1st. So six innings, seven hits, three earned, six Ks. But yeah, I thought that game. I was yeah, it was a, a back and forth in the public really loving the D backs, which I I get, but I think this one because the Giants could steal could be a tight one. I love yeah, fading this Dodger team. Looking towards the Giants, um, personally. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then did someone said the Rockies was on the Rockies today? Yeah, I'm on the Rockies. I see. First good value the Rockies. Oh yeah. Hell I got yeah. a piece. I think there's I, runs. I don't know how Dakota Hudson doesn't get hit. I know it's 35 degrees. But the wind's blowing Dan, out. They yeah, and it's low. They can't hit. I know, but I think Dakota Hudson. How are you? He late gives up four to sleep. Yeah, I know. Crazy. Rocky. Someone, hit. someone came in my chat with, and on, I think on third, maybe as Thursday night when I was doing uh, look at lines, they're like, "Hey, man, take Cooley Rodriguez for a home run this weekend in Colorado." <laughs> like, you figure. He hasn't hit one, and you're in Colorado. But then I was like, "Oh, nice!" But it's 30 degrees. Yeah, yeah, cold, it's snowing. There's snow out there today. Let's go. How about and this? How about by the way, this? Seattle yeah. Bats haven't exactly been lighting the world on fire, right? Let's no. look at these Seattle Bats and what they've been inconsistency at best. Good opportunity yeah. for Colorado. They're, they're nine and ten. They're lucky. I mean, and they have a good young pitchers that kept them in it. But still, I don't think they were good, and they've been overpriced in my opinion all year long so here's uh from the database home favorites or home dogs between 145 or 140 and 160 market moving towards the home team nine and six straight up the home team nine and six straight up 60 percent. that's 11 and four to the over 73 percent. and if you filter down to the home team 
to when the sharp action is on the home team, which you've got here because you got a lot of public on this on the Mariners. You got seven and three money line for the home team, eight and two to the over. Yep. Yeah, and oh, they well. weirdly are kind of betting this game under. It's not crazy, um, but this Colorado because the few splits I was looking at earlier today from a few places. I just think it's a little low. I think the Rockies get to Castillo and Hudson you can't trust. And you can't trust these both, especially the Rockies at least. They're yeah. a team to me that really I just look at first five. I have to. I've been burned so often with them, even at home where they win more because they're almost unbettable on the road in certain spots. Of course, they're not. But they just are – that road record has just been proven for years and years and years how awful it's been. So what's the best way to get on the game? Is it the over? Is it a team total over? Is it the Rockies on the money line? I'm on the over. And I have a bet on the Rockies. I'm doing I'm the same right now. I'm betting both. I'm going to just throw. First five, game. though, that Rockies bet. It was just a half. So I have, I'm, the last time I bet the Rockies first five, it was Rockies, Phillies. And it was um, what's his name? Was, was that about, that weird game though? Where yeah. there or what was that? Okay, they gave up four runs in the first. Uh, who's pitching that game? Their pitcher, their guy. Um, Gomber? No, no. Freeland? No. He's out. Freeland. It was the guy I thought uh, I perceived as their best pitcher, and I, I don't. I won't say that I know baseball. Andrew Gomber's their best pitcher when it comes yeah, to sports. <laughs> Let's see. Are we fucking Ryan who for tomorrow's doubleheader? Ryan Feltner. Oh, Feltner, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was on Feltner first. He got five. lit. Yeah, in the first inning it was Philly. four, and then the Rockies put up one. It was four one, and then they they covered the run line the full game. It was seven six final. I don't know. Why on the road played. though, yeah, and they came back and scored like five in the ninth. Yep. Just the other day, yeah, yeah. I remember LJ was bitching it because he had the Phillies on the run line. <laughs> The other night, remember when he came in? He was like, "What the fuck?" Imploded Seven to one. Yeah. Yeah, Philly's pen. We have some score updates, boys. How about that already? Uh, midway through the seventh inning, two-one Cubs are up over the Marlins. But the Diamondbacks, first inning already up one-zero. The Red Sox up one-zero. They've got bases loaded, and then there we go. The Astros and the Nationals tied at one. The Mets are up 1-0 first inning. Alonzo at the plate. It's the Mets or nothing. This Dodger team is until they get on one of those crazy runs where they're going to win a bunch of games, you just you do not take them. Who's the right pitching? I said this. Who, who's the pitchers for these guys? Everybody's like you're just enamored by it. They have three MVPs batting one, two, three. Okay. Uh can we look at the pitching staff who's got to shut down another major league baseball team and not give up four or five runs a game? No, they don't just, have it. I mean, Stone's pitching you know, today. He's Stone's, not very good, unproven. Again, yeah. Who else yeah. have? Emmett, Emmett Sheehan, Edward Sheehan, Emmett Otters, Jug Band Christmas, whoever that dude is, Mr. Emmett Smith. <laughs> I, you know, Glass now is a, a – all right, he's good for 27 starts. And then what do you got? You got Bueller coming back from an injury. Kershaw's 50. Where's Gonsolin? He's, he's hurt, I guess. Where's the staff? It's not a good staff. Yeah, Everybody's May's going to come back at some point, but that's okay, months but away. That's just yeah, no, I'm just trying to go back. Yeah, they have nothing right now, and their bullpen's awful. And Dodgers always have a great bullpen. And they've had some horrible Kenley Jansen, but I just meant if you look at their numbers year yes. in and year out, they're always top five bullpen for this 20, 30 years. But they're awful. They're just bad right now. They're, they're just not a good baseball team. And even like Can't the hit with lineup, I – Again, oh. I, all right, T. Oscar Hernandez. I kind of like T. Oscar. I, I wouldn't mind him as a, a. He hasn't been too bad too. He's been one of the only guys kind of getting some ribbies, next getting some hits. But Joey Gallo. Oh. He all he is is Joey Gallo. He hits one eighty and hits twenty eight homers. And hits one eighty nine. Yep. Lux hasn't produced. Outman's still young. I mean, who else are they rolling out there? Jason Jason Hayward. Yeah, he's hurt. Taylor was going zero oh, for fifty before he got a hit the other day. Will Smith, I get Will Smith at, on, on, as, at a cleanup, so I don't mind Will Smith. He's solid, but again, I like I him too. Game. I don't love the the contract they just gave him, but yeah, I think he's solid. Just because he's going to be so old with that, I mean, he's already like twenty seven years old. He's been like that. Man, you keep no, he's good now. I just meant they're going to eat that in the ass end of his career. I mean, they're paying until he's thirty eight, thirty nine years old. You know, you don't think he would restructure a deal? Yeah. 
Well, they just paid him. I mean, I don't know what how they're going to work it out. I'd have to look into it. But they just gave Same. him like ten year deal. He'll be thirty nine. He's a catcher, Billy, too. I mean, like, is he still going to hit when he's 35? You'd have to no, move the first. Right, you're right. You're right. I mean, you're that, he's like, we're looking at a catch. We're not looking at, you know, an outfielder that. So it's first just, it was just a bad move, like even though I love Will Smith. Yeah. I just thought it was bad. No, nah, you're right. I'm, I'm a big Willie. You know, I'm a big Willie style. No, Diddy. Uh, he has the best fucking Dodgers thing when he comes. No, 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 no. And he walks up to he walks up the bat. Yeah, yeah no. he, he gets he comes up to get jiggy with it. Yeah, he, he comes up he to does. a lot of Will Smith shit. Yo, Wolves was... backers, be scared because Beal hasn't done anything yet. Yeah, Tone, I, I couldn't bet any money on the Minnesota Suns game. That's just a that's a game where I feel like the edge is in games two and three. Lead off home run, Lee. Guy, Mikey. Lee for the, the Giants. Giants. Oh, oh, right? yeah, I got a rookie yeah. of the year on him. I got a rookie of the year oh, on him. I figured that guy could hit. That's legit. He can hit. He could hit 330. Like yeah. he did it over in Japan. The last, I mean – and he's been on like an eleven game hitting streak. He's he's gonna be the real deal. I, I love that. So one one already though. Uh Walker. Guriel double double walker got him in. Well I need I need I need to I need to run to slow down here. I got an under eight. <laughs> got an under eight here. I, I need to call good. Danny, actually. That's who I need to call. I need to call Danny. I'm going through my Heritage baseball cards here. I like these top Heritage cards, but they're absolutely worth nothing. They look so nice compared to these glossy craps that they make nowadays. The stone may not last. I should have been on the Mets. God damn it. First five, at least. I just texted Danny. I'm so going to ask bad. what's his boxing what's his boxing card tonight for the Devin Haney Ryan Garcia card. And I'll probably just yeah hit him up. He messaged me too. I'll message him back. Yeah, I gotta. I'm gonna definitely hit up Danny because hit Danny him up asked. style. How about that song? It's Marcus really McCarthy says thoughts on the Hurricanes game. Mike told me I I accidentally bet a minus one line, so uh, I'm on the in regulation and plus or uh, in regulation and minus one and a half puck line. Uh, in regulation was minus one forty five, and the puck line was plus one fifteen. And uh, yeah, I like the Hurricanes in game one. Maybe I should come in on a hurricane. So I got the under. Should I do a puck line here for an honor of Mikey POD? Let's go, boys. Plenty of time. By the way, the contest is still open. You got 40 more minutes to enter. Oh, yeah. In Winnipeg? Sure it is, uh... <laughs> I don't know about the Winnipeg thing. Everywhere I go, it doesn't matter if it's the chat, if I'm watching it on television, we'll it or if I'm talking to a casual. Everybody, their mom's on Winnipeg. Like, I feel like that's like the number one. I, I don't spot. understand it, Billy. I don't get it. Everybody's, Everybody's saying been, Winnipeg's going to win this fucking series. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'll be surprised. Yeah, I, don't know, yeah. I, I thought I you know from a series out. betting perspective, let's say you drop a dime on on Colorado to win the series. It's minus one twenty. There's got to be at least one spot in this series where you can take, uh, you know, uh, the Winnipeg Jets on the road at probably a plus 200. You put 500 yes. bucks and at least you're back to neutral and you're still playing with Colorado to win and you can still win that bet. To me, it just seems crazy that people are saying, now maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm, maybe it's just too obvious and I'm wrong, but Colorado with all that fucking offense, get out of here. I don't know, Tone. I'm looking for the round props, but Devin Haney hasn't knocked out somebody since fucking 2017. I was I was a freshman in fucking college that year. That's the last time Devin Haney did knock somebody out. You know how fucking that was what I was that's the only I didn't bet there yet. I thought about putting a couple bucks, but yeah, I, when I was looking through it a little bit earlier this week, Billy, I was like, Will he drop him? He's got pillow fist. There's one prop on FanDuel that I liked. It was uh Devin Haney to win the fight, throw the most significant strikes, and to uh, 
I got it. It was like Devin Haney did the third of most significant strikes and then won the fight. It was like minus 160, and he's minus damn near 1,200. Um, the decision prop is minus 105. I feel like you could put a half unit on the, the decision prop and fuck around with the group round props. I saw four through seven was plus 450. Uh, seven through 12 was plus five something. So, like, there's ways to bet it. I just – I feel like the bookies are hitting us with a bookie fake out here, man. The kid goes crazy, but what happens? Are they just really trying to sell the fight because Devin Haney has fucking pillows his fist? Because I've watched Devin Haney fight before. Mm-hmm. I can fucking take a punch from Devin Haney to the fucking face and not get knocked out. I went to Rowan University in uh, South Jersey. I went to Holy Family, but they actually kicked me out for playing on uh, DraftKings. Uh I was the uh, first student in uh, Pennsylvania school history to be kicked out of a Catholic college for violating a gambling rule. Hmm. Well, that sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, well, well, what's, man, what's the rule? They well, called, what's the rule? They called my mom and said, uh, you're so oh, I think you told me that. DraftKings, and she was like, what the fuck is DraftKings? <laughs> <laughs> She thought it was like a poker website or something, something like that. And I was like, yeah. But that's all my advisor's fault. My advisor all up in my fucking business walked in on a schedule the class day. And it was me smoking weed with the buddies day. And I had the chain and all in the shoes. She was like, what the fuck have you been doing? <laughs> Playing draft kicks? <laughs> 2-1 Giants with a sack fly. Flores. Who got it? Forest, Forest, motherfucker! I'll tell you what that Florida, yes. Flores and Conforto oh. are always like plus one ninety two dollars for ribbies, and he hit like three and four or four and five. Yeah, I mean, I've been on them both already. Conforto didn't come through the other night. Like oh, he, that but... fucking... Yeah, I know. Pinch hit. Oh, yeah. Alex Z with the new. He should have got that though That's early cool. in the first. Hey Rod, I know in Rod. the you know first inning or whatever though. It was first and second or whatever it was. Shout out to our guy, Hot Rod up in there. Rod Hot Z, Rod. baby. Rod, what you got in the hockey suit tonight? Playoffs, Rod. Here we go. Rod, I told him I'm taking Carolina minus one and a half. Talk sense into me. Tell me I'm off. I'd love to hear Rod <laughs> Z's comments here on this Winnipeg, Colorado series. Everyone loves this Winnipeg Jets spot, Rod. You tell us. How did I, I take him? I, I'm waiting for Danny to text me back. I want to bet the decision prop, but I'm waiting for Danny to text me back. The uh, whatever rounds Danny takes, I'm probably just gonna tail his. I'm, I'm one of those spots where you're like, you just gotta tail the full card. So I'm waiting for him to send out the full card. Uh, Rod's can't pick and choose. One and I had that problem yesterday. Somebody tried to pick and choose to be a uh, pick and choose the PFL card, and the, of course. We go four and one on the PFL, and the one bet that I lost was the one that he tailed. And I said, "Bro, that's right. You can't pick and choose, man. You got to tail the full <laughs> card." Like the run the whole slate. Round knockouts. Tyler Diamond looked like a minus four hundred favorite at plus one forty five, but the one that he tailed was Bubba Jenkins, and Bubba Jenkins looked like dog shit yesterday. Islanders like plus one passes, Rod Z. Ah, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear is that, that. Is that the series or the game, though, is the question, I guess. He says the road team 7-0, yeah. head-to-head, Canes. Were, all right, so he's probably talking about this game. All right, Rod Z. <laughs> but what's the, what, those, what are those Carolina Hurricane record in the playoffs in the last, like, two to three years since they got – I don't it want was, to say new stadium – but I think it was a new They've won a couple series, but they haven't. I mean, this is a team that's talking about to go to the cup, you know, win it. I think they – I said this the other day, uh, C-Mac, I think they should wear the Harper Whaler jerseys. Put them on. The whole fucking playoff run here. Throw back to Harper. Mike, I'm going to do every every hockey team at home who's a favorite. I'm taking everyone on a puck line. <laughs> Don't do that. No? Not good? I – Hockey is the one I, yes. sport that I, the I, only I, one I wouldn't take is the Winnipeg Jets because I think Colorado wins that fucking game. I'm I, I'm blown away that people are on this uh, this Winnipeg. What game, you don't like the Predators? Yeah, I like I, I think the game's tight. Yeah, I would take we'll the see. Predators probably too. 
Yeah, that's another one. They've been Whatever. burning hot in the playoffs. I did it. I did it. <laughs> I like the Predators against the Canucks. They're they're a road team, and I also like that Kings Edmonton game on Monday night. That's a seven game series if I ever fucking seen one. But I kind of like the over over five and a half minus one thirty. I could see Edmonton just running over those boys. The goaltending issues that the Kings have between Riddich and Cam Talbot. I like the over. Uh, Kempe every game over shots on goal. Probably. Probably going to be at two and a half every single game. I would probably take his over shots on goal every single game. And uh, Fiala as well. Fiala is the one I would predominantly go with shots on goal. Then, you know, probably... uh, can't be the put a bunch of girl in Crystal there. Craig. She says Jets are a good home team. I think their chances are better at home. Yeah, they probably win game one. I just don't. I, I don't know if they win those series. Though. You know, uh, Colorado. Colorado ain't. Colorado is not. If there's one team in the NHL, I do not want to bet against. It's Colorado. The Abs are. It's just. Be like, there's just too much firepower. Who the hell is going to yeah. contain them? I can go out there and score at will at any given time, special teams, even strength. It doesn't matter. They're just Jets whooped Colorado. Rod So, so Rod, I I heard that the other day. The Jets whooped Colorado all season. I totally agree with that. I mean, the numbers don't lie, but look at the Western Conference. You got Vegas, the defending Stanley Cup champs. All right. Maybe they're lesser of the Frector, but you have Edmonton kicking the shit out of everybody. You have, um, you know, Dallas Stars. Everybody anointed them Stanley Cup champs midway through the season. You have the LA Kings. Everybody said they were going to be Stanley Cup champs in fucking October. You, how many teams can you focus on? You got to phone in that Winnipeg Jets spot to me. And I think Winnipeg Jets are going to find out right real quick today exactly what Colorado has in store for them, in my opinion. We'll see. Yeah, uh, they're definitely frauds, but. Let's not forget they won the Stanley Cup. They brought in Jack Eichel from an offensive perspective. I totally agree. Philly Eagle Flyers talking sense. He says the abs roll. <laughs> Look, I, I can roll. fully be wrong. I just had two eyeballs, and I've been watching hockey all season. <laughs> or you should say you're up 46 units this year in hockey. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, you know what? We had a good season, that's for sure. How about – Look at this from Popeyes. 420 for a chicken sandwich. You know, that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it's legal. 420 <laughs> to conquer the munchies. I like nice. it. All right. So, Danny just tweeted out the card. I think I'm going to pass. All right, boys. Well, here's, here's what we got seven minutes left in this first half of this Phoenix Suns Minnesota game. I'm gonna have to get something to eat myself. So let's uh let's put the bow on this thing at the end of this first half. Let's see if this first half goes under. Let's see how these bets correlate. Let's see what we have coming in and what's still out there to go. Sounds good. I gotta Rod take Zee my daughter to a birthday party too. So yeah, you gotta yeah. get ready for the Sixers game. I gotta get leaving leaving the confines of the- Abs in Vegas out first round. Oh, Rod, don't say that to Mike. He's gonna go on a bender. I'm okay with Vegas, but I'm not okay with it. The Avs, come on, Rod Z. Come on, Rod Z. You're fucking better than that. Stop. 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 Yo, Avs, go. The fucking Winnipeg Jets? What? I must be the only guy that lives under a fucking rock because I... I, <laughs> now, I one of know. those... I will say, the though, like, one, of those, uh, one of those Canadian teams this year are probably going to be in the Stanley Cup for uh, script purposes. I think I think it's Edmonton. Everyone's all over Dallas, but give me Edmonton. I like what happened with uh, Connor McDavid, not the goal scorer Connor McDavid, the hundred plus assist Connor McDavid out there, hooking his teammates up, finding the outlet guy, being a leader, not by going out there scoring, but by giving his guys positions to succeed. And that that's a dangerous recipe if you're out there. I don't like their goaltending with Skinner. I'm not a big fan, but I think that uh, Connor McDavid. Dry side, all those boys are ready to roll. Uh, I do like Edmonton. I'm not. A, I'm not on the bandwagon with Dallas, but I don't think I kind of like Edmonton too. I got them to win the. That's the only future I placed in the uh, West 
Uh, Edmonton to win the Western Conference Finals at like plus four hundred. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the arrow and bring us in the direction of baseball tonight. Two <laughs> props I'm looking at: ribby props. Let's I'm go. good with my ribby props. Thirty-eight and forty-six plus nineteen oh five with the ribby props, folks. Philadelphia. Boehm is plus 155, Ooh. and Marsh is plus 180. Yes, uh, Marsh has been red hot. <laughs> I there's a, You might find somebody for 105, one of the other bigger names. Listen, I always put out minimum like 135s. I get guys hitting four, five, six at this kind of plus number. Soroka's pitched like 11 games in the last four years. The guy's terrible. He's not getting back into pre-Atlanta shape from 2019 when he's good. It's 2024. He's going to give up six runs in three innings right out of the gate. We could have back-to-back homers by these two cats in the first innings, and you got three hundos in your pocket already. I don't like to say get the pen out and say thank me later, but worst case, you go one and one and and make money here. But the ribby props have been good. Those are my two faves for tonight. Yeah, I got to figure out how to how do you even. Uh get on that Phillies game. They're going to win. It's just how do you, how do you, how do you do it? Uh, minus you can one go, line is well, minus 56. I, I think the Wheeler minus two and a win. Half. Wheeler to get the win. That's the smart. That's the, yeah, Mike, you're right. Wheeler to get the win. That's got to be what? Plus, plus like 150. Uh, no, it's juiced. I got it at minus 130 earlier today. So, uh, what? to get yeah, the fucking it's, win? It's probably, I think I saw 145s recently. To get the fucking win? Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, my God. You're probably better off at that point, if that's the case, taking uh, the Phillies' first five in full game. But that little double dip prop. Wow, bro. Him to win is minus 165 is wild. But yeah. it's actually not that wild. They're minus 350 on the fucking money line. So it's actually it's, – when you put it in that case and scenario, yeah, the minus 165 is value for a 350 money line. What's the first five full game? I'm not a double result better. I I hate those bets. Um, that might be the best way to do it. Let me. I'll look. tell you another one I like, boys. Kansas City off the Nerfy. Kansas. I, listen, a lot of Baltimore love out there. Rodzi, I see you on there. He says road favorites off a loss are 27 and 12 to the run line. How about this one? Kansas City Royals off a of Nerfy are now 10 and 2 on the season, straight up and on the run line. Guess what happened yesterday? Nerfy. We played that run yesterday because the second game of the two game series was a Nerfy the night before. They went out there, they got the first five and the full game. We're running it back. No fucking reason not to. Give it to me. Nah, maybe I maybe I take this up, but. Give it to me. Minus 400 on your book? Yeah, I was just looking at FanDuel. FanDuel had minus. Uh, FanDuel's got the best line at minus 335. Radzi says, people totally forgot the Winnipeg Jets went like 50 games holding teams to three or less defensively. Hella buck. One Jennings trophy for a good reason. Hashtag point out. They didn't play Colorado 50 games. If they play Colorado seven games, I think Colorado's going to get them done. <laughs> I got to run, fellas. Good luck in the Mr. Higgity. Chat. Good Mr. Luck Sean Higgs, we appreciate you, my guy. Sixers better win tonight. I'm also going to take a bunch of comments from this crazy dude, Mr. Numbers, who swears that Jalen Brunson and Jared Brunson's the next third. Whatever. What's your name? Jalen? Jared? Jaylen. Gerard? Jalen? Whoever. He's not Michael Jordan, Mr. Dubs. The Knicks stink. All right? <laughs> Freaking Knicks. Oh, All right, guys. Good luck. All right. say Later. He just lucked himself into that second. 10, Sixers, baby. Let's go. Let's go. The only thing that makes me mad, though, is it's probably going to be a seven-game series, though. So. They're going to try to Maybe. milk everything they can out of that. One one bases loaded, two outs. No, there's no question, Rod. All the numbers show a Winnipeg game, but I the thing that I just feel you can't 
you can't bake in, you can't see it in the numbers. You can't quantify it. But how many teams are the Avs supposed to take serious? And the Winnipeg Jets are the first team out. <laughs> we'll see. I hope Colorado fucking snuffs them. I have minus one and a half. Minus one and a half seems like a good bet to me. Where are we at? I don't know about the I don't know about game one though. Game one they might lose though, Mike. See the thing about the NHL, in contrast to the NBA, these players don't give a fuck who they're playing. They're gonna go out there, they're gonna slice and dice, they're gonna play whoever's in front of them to get the job done, and they don't show any fear. They're not taking not games either. off. They play every fucking day and they're ready to roll. So, you know, ideal matchups, sure, there's a factor that goes into that, but you're telling me Colorado Avalanche aren't sitting there going, we get the Winnipeg Jets? Let's go. I'll tell you what, all their handlers, all their translators, all their family and friends are betting that Colorado Ave series right now. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, I, 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 that's one where, like, I think we'll get our spots for that one. But I am nervous for game one. Get like, you know, they well, reel everybody yeah. in on game one, and then that's <laughs> then that might be the only one that they win. Who knows? Listen, I I will eat the biggest bowl of shit if I have to for this uh, first game, but I just don't see it. Maybe the first game is the best chance they have. <laughs> What the abs? What are we betting? I don't know, Rod. Fucking, uh, I'll bet you. I don't know. We'll, let's talk, Rod. I'll bet you some. I just can't. I listen. I respect a lot of you guys that are on this Winnipeg Jets team. I just maybe I'm just maybe I'm just too involved. And what's funny is I didn't bet a lot of Jets in Colorado games, but nonetheless, maybe I'm just too involved. I'm willing to accept <laughs> it. I'm willing to own it. I just fucking crazy. It seems crazy to me. Seems crazy. Now, the only advantage I think that the Jets have in this situation, well, two advantages. One, obviously goaltending. Obviously. There's no question that Hallibuck bruce Wah combination, to me, can run roughshod over probably anybody in the West. That combination rivals probably anybody in the Western Conference. But maybe Vegas, with the exception, with Logan Hill and Aiden Hill. I'm sorry, Logan Thompson and Aiden Hill. But I just don't see how it's going to happen. Give me this avalanche team, that fucking offense. Rant. I bet you Rantanen's the guy that leads the team in scoring the series, too. How about that? Not only that, the entire fucking series between both teams, Rantanen's the guy that gets the job done. Get me excited about this series. I'm, I'm, I'm the more I'm uh, the the hockey games, man. I can't I can't wait, man. I usually don't say that, but hockey playoffs is um in my opinion, the uh, best playoffs to watch, to be honest with you. Like, oh, the, years. The, the fact that, the, you know, I know the NBA just keeps going too, but the fact that you get this NHL games with these 20 minute overtimes, either they score in the first like two minutes of overtime or you might as well roll on to the next overtime because they're just not getting it done. And, and then they're battles of attrition at that point. So it's a lot of fun. So it's a, it's a great playoff to watch. Fanatical Jim says, I'm on Vegas to win the West. You know, the thing about Vegas, too, right? Last year, they got it done with um, scrap players, maybe. I mean, they had a strong defense and decent goaltending. You look at this one, uh, you know, they bring in offense. Jack Eichel being the number one. I said this the other day. Let's not forget, as much as Jack Eichel was a scumbag in Buffalo, he was the number two overall draft pick, and he was the number two overall draft pick behind Connor McDavid. Let's not forget. Jack Eichel's got some step. He's got some game in his step out there. I bet you he goes out there and mixes it up a little bit in this first round. Fuck Dallas, too. And everybody that wants Dallas to win the Stanley Cup, with all due respect. I just, you guys are crazy. Dallas, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm the crazy one here. Maybe fucking Pimp Slash's a little crazy. I don't know. Dallas, Dallas, is, Dallas is an overtime team. You Dallas keep playing and Vegas. For overtime teams. I think that's the hardest series to call. Like your your subconscious would tell you Vegas should what? How do you not bet Vegas? And then I'm not. And then once you start reading numbers and start looking at it, it's like I'm not trying to bet that series. 
I think every I'll tell you the, the plays everyone's gonna take. Dallas first period over, probably because of Vegas, and then probably Dallas second period over because of Dallas. It's a five and a half, most likely, probably goes under. We probably see overtime. And then because these fuckers keep trying for overtime, Dallas gonna end up losing that game. Vegas gets the job done. And then, you know, they split the one on one. They go back into Vegas. That crowd's gonna be loud. Not only that, but in terms of home ice advantage, Vegas puts on a show in the playoffs. Watch these fucking guys come out for 15 minutes with their uh, choreographed routines and the Knights out there slaying the dragon. It's a fucking full-out weight fest when you're the road team watching Vegas open up a playoff game. That's going to wreak havoc on this Dallas team, in my opinion. Rod Z says Stone's going to take a beat and sweep the sweep. <laughs> Yeah. Sweeps, sweeps a big, uh, big ask. I feel like. Yeah, I, I don't know. Billy Eagle Flyer says Canes versus Stars, Vegas winner for the championship. It's an interesting take. It's an interesting take. I did tell uh, Mel last night she had uh, Edmonton to win the first two games of the series, uh, and I think it was plus one fifty or plus one something like that. Uh, I like that. I think they have the path to go to the Western Conference Finals. You look Edmonton, you know, right now, what they've got going on out there, they got the LA Kings. Uh, contrary to everybody's early anointment of the Kings being the Stanley Cup champions in October, I'm not buying their goaltending suspect. Give me Edmonton to win that first series. You know, then they're going to have to go on and play the winner of the Nashville Vancouver series. Vancouver's fucking lucky to be here. Sorry if I'm wrong here, but. This team played such an open offense, and uh, you know when it came down to uh, the way their special teams worked out there, it was hard to match them. But teams figured it out. You you go to the outer box or the fucking diamond, you shut that Vancouver power play down. Nashville's definitely a live spot, and then Nashville's going to run into trouble when they have to play Edmonton. So whoever wins that series, I like that Edmonton to win the first two rounds. Edmonton and money. five says Rodzi. I like um, – I think there's value in the uh, hockey future market because I don't think it's going to be uh, as dog – like, I don't think the big dogs are going to come through like it did last year. Like, I think it's going to be a somewhat chalkier slate. Yeah, I, I, I think that – I think there's that's that's a valid point. The, the, the haves versus the have-nots when it comes down to it. There's our guy, Dabby. Dabby Cab up in the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dabby, I, I got to take a leak. I'll be right back. What's that light behind you, Dabby? Oh, that's the good vibe sign. My my um my lights are out right now. I put them up. Mike's Mike said he was gonna take a piss real quick. I didn't know you guys were still going. When I left like 30 or 40 minutes ago, I thought you guys were wrapping up. What up, C Mac? C Mac. I think we're wrapping up after this first half of this Minnesota and uh Phoenix first half. Dope, dope. Because I think Mikey's leaving. I'm leaving because I'm about to leave the crib in like an hour for Sixers game one against the Knickerbockers. Got to watch. Got to watch. I feel like as a sports better, sometimes you got to watch the games with casual people that aren't in the sports betting space. They kind of, you know, dumb it down a little bit. You got to watch it with uh, regular people sometimes. I need my bets to hit today because I'm going to lose my mind if not because it's one of those things like, I had the Brewers team total yesterday. They didn't cash it. They have 10 runs right now. I had bets over one and a half bases yesterday. He didn't cash it, but he already cashed that today. Like, I better hit my fucking bets today. Oh, shit. You're muted, C-Mac. You max muted. My bad. Uh, they always deliver the next day. So it's, <laughs> it's, it, that's, uh, that's why no you got to do it again, right? Yeah, I mean, as long as you're not going crazy chase, but yeah, it's uh, it's a thing you got to deal with. You guys, uh, anybody in here bet the Rangers uh, Braves game tonight? I think the Rangers are live. I do That's too. I have their uh, team total over, and then I've also got I got a bet on Seager again. Yeah. Uh, he got a hit yesterday, but I think he gets it. Because I went with it. I mean, as much as 
as he can. I mean, he hits lefties just as good as righties when he's rolling. I mean, he hit 313 last year. I think he hit 14 homers off lefties. So I just saw the value yesterday. I like it again. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to have a piece of it. Looks like the Astros were tied with the uh, Nationals here at the end of the third inning. Mike, uh, how'd your uh, bets on this basketball game look? Uh, I got the first half under. Astros. We're uh, we're rolling this first half under. We're still alive. We got uh, what I said was one ten and a half or something. One ten. Yep. So we're rolling, baby. Uh, we're on our way. We got ninety four with two and a half minutes to go. It's gonna be sweaty. That shit's crazy, though, man. Minnesota. I know it's still early. I think you're gonna get it. This could be a little close, but. Dodgers Minnesota. have scored to tie it up, by the way. Money, man. I know. That, and they had the bases loaded. Didn't get anybody else in. Same thing with the Nats. They tied that and had the bases loaded. Nada. Who's got the Astros? You got them, Cap? You're on mute. You got the Astros? Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I'm muted. I put him in a parlay with the Guardians. I know I was shouting out Mike on his little hip-to-be-square play, but I put the Astros and the Guardians together, and it's plus 148. Okay. Yeah, Mike, where's your fucking hip-to-be-square? Fuck you guys. You know how much work Where's Huey is? Lewis? He's not you making a fucking a appearance. You got to post a play every single day for 160 Sports. days, and you got to keep going out there looking for square-ass bets. That sucks, man. <laughs> My favorite one is the, uh, your crazy. Hey, it was your move. Right? It's like you're the one who came mean... up with it. <laughs> it was fun. Shout out to our guy RVD. Man, I'm not, the problem, not even sure. Jim. I'm not sure. Perky. Even sure. Oh, go ahead, man. I keep cutting you off. No, man. I was just shouting some guys out. Appreciate yeah. all you guys. No, I'm done. Perky, all these guys. Appreciate it. Feel like a fire. Roll on. Dude, I'm like eight joints deep today. I'm fucking fried. I know. I'm, how are you alive? Marlins took the lead. I thought you guys were wrapping up though 30 minutes ago when I left. I thought it was like over. Like I didn't know you guys were still going. Oh yeah, they did just take the lead. The half time, man. We'll sweat this halftime out. I'm involved in it. Let's go. Yeah, I, actually, uh, if I don't see you guys on the way back, deuces. But I gotta get something to eat before I leave. Yeah, it's same, Peace. Billy. I'm, I'm supposed to like be in the be in the car. I know Mike had to take a piss. I gotta be in the car here in like five minutes because I'm yeah, about to head up, head up the road. It's all good. We'll uh, shut it down, Mike. Yeah, we can wrap. We can wrap, baby. We're we'll wrapping right now. Yeah, let's go. Let's talk it. Let's shut it down. Hey, yeah, uh, shut it down. This was a damn good time, though, man. I can't think of a better way to spend a 420 than up here with you guys on the panel. And then you guys in the chat, man. Getting to smoke a few joints with you guys. Have a few drinks. You know, gamble. We talked about fast food for a little bit too long. But other than that, this is a blast. Oh, Tons yeah. of fun, man. We made some money, too. We cashed some bets. And Snizzle comes through with a bomb and the horses. You got everything today. We had... Plenty of hockey talk. We got the NBA. We got MLB boys. Lots of fun. I always enjoy hanging out with you guys, man. Hell yeah. Let's get that cash. Let's get it, man. We got anything? Uh, any last words? I, I I got. I told you guys. I got the Rangers team total over. Uh, it's over four. And then I got Seager bases over. Anything? Uh, you guys want to leave one more time? Any bets for the chat? Let's Stop go ahead, Mike. The Winnipeg Jets. Stop betting the Winnipeg Jets. I had the Rockies over. And I have uh, yeah. a little bit Rocky's first five uh, and the Rangers will be on them. Oh, yeah. That's dogs. Uh, that was it for me. Okay. And I'm still looking at that first half under Knicks, Sixers. I cashed big. I had a, a pretty big bet with that Cavs first half under. I don't know if I move on it, but hit me up All over if I do, or I'll, or I'll put it out. Day. Let's get these first half NBA under. So let's go. Let's get this one and we'll move on to the next, boys. Appreciate hanging out with you guys, man. It was a lot of fun today. Hell yeah, Mike. You want to leave the chat Hell to yeah. me? Last words, Mike. I'll let you when you when you when you rap, I'll hit the LJ rap and we'll fucking rap, man. 
No, oh, let's shut her down. Let's go. go. Stop that. Then we're going to make We be pumping. Stay pumping. Pub Sports Radio's the crew, that's a fact. We all about bread, making bank accounts fat. Who the hell is that? LJ from the H, I stack green like Boston. Shout out to Nasty Nate from down south, where we ride on slabs. 420 highway smoking with that boy Dabby Cab. Swing by Dallas with them cowboy fans so we can smoke out J Money, cause you know that's our mans. Us against the bookies, put money in our pockets. Fly out to Vegas, meet up with Ski Profit. Hit the sports books, we got money to stack. Can't forget them college picks with that boy.